recap from last time. Who remembers what okay. was going on? Ooh. Uh, so for Carlton's portion, um, he just witnessed uh, some people that looked like stealing a chest, and he happened upon some bodies and was questioned by the town sheriff. Yep, the town sheriff, he, is, he now has a name. The town sheriff is uh, Sheriff Eldridge. Um, and he is a, he is a older gentleman. Um, nope, that ain't how you do it. He's an older gentleman. He, uh, and he, he, he out. and he keep, and he questioned you and asked you if you had anything to do with the murders. Right. And you told him no. And didn't y'all investigate? But you really, um, you, didn't, you didn't really find anything. You did investigate, but I don't think you really found anything, correct? Right, no. Um, I didn't. And then um, Brother Fly was going to go in and do his last rites. Yes, and I, th and I think he did go ahead and do the last rites. Um, and then that's when the Undertaker... Uh-oh, we lost somebody. Um, and that's when the Undertaker came in and uh got the bodies and took them back to to the oh, undertaker got the, place. the undertaker building populated that looks cool oh, there yeah I, cool. I did some i did some changes to the map um now who was the man that was talking to the the epitaph the tombstone epitaph um who which one of y'all were were taking him to the site of the undead attack at the wagon train? I know Langdon had told him about the men who looked like they had an odd flesh eating it affliction who attacked so, the party. So, and so he agreed to give him fifty dollars if he would show him this location. Colonel Langdon, do you have a brother? <laughs> Possibly, but not from the same mother. <laughs> <laughs> so um so y'all were I think y'all were out here on the uh on the edge of the the thing when all that happened, correct? Well Colonel Lingus had a shootout on the street. Yep. When he when he come out there was a couple of fellas high tailing it out of the other end of town, but he didn't get a chance to see much. And then we uh I think the sheriff identified them as the, oh, what was the guy's name? It was a gang, correct? Yeah, the Aguilar gang. The Aguilar gang, yes, yes, yes. They had been terrorizing this town for quite some time now, usually just making off with horses. This is the bra most brazen thing that they have done in some time. Um, and y'all don't know what was in the chest. Yeah, well, y'all don't know what was in the chest, but it it was a big hit for them. Um, yeah, the sheriff, um, speaking with him briefly, he suspected it was Ghost Rock because they had a, a penchant for robbing miners in the hills of their Ghost Rock. Yep. Okay. So, so that that's what that's what the sheriff thinks it is, but nobody really knows. Um, so, so uh, and y'all have heard about... Uh, two uh holy men that come into town and opened up the the church and they they started the church of the red waters um and they have a they have a uh service every sunday with free meals and and free wine which draws a lot of attention to the church um and there are some people that that like them and there's some people that don't so if you want to ask around town about that so today is currently Saturday. Um, this is right after the robbery, so it's early in the morning. We'll say around ten-ish. What does everybody want to do? So this is right after the robbery. So they did, did yeah. this in like the morning. Yeah, it was in the morning time when they robbed. Because y'all were just coming down and eating y'all's breakfast, I believe, is when it happened. Yeah, we all we had just finished breakfast when we heard yep. the shots outside. So everybody ran outside. So the robbery actually happened around, say, about eight thirty nine. It after the questioning and y'all milling around the front of the Hogs Hole Saloon. 
um, our Boggs Hole Saloon. Y'all were just basically, basically asking questions to other people and figuring out what's going on. And now it's around 10 ish. So, what would y'all like to do? Don't everybody speak at once. Yeah. The, um, <laughs> did the sheriff tell me to go see him later or what was his deal? Um, the sheriff, okay. Yeah. The sheriff said, uh, if you want to help out with the Aguilar gang, I could, I can, I'm, he was trying to rustle up a posse to, uh, to deal with them, but we've got to find out where they are because nobody knows where the hideout is. Okay. So Carlton, I mean, he, he already doesn't like bad people, but he would be much more interested in getting his hands on some of this ghost rock. Okay. Sounds good. So I think that's going to be his focus, but I guess we'll, I'll go back. Is the sheriff still down there? Yeah, he's he's right there. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he. Guess I'll mosey back up to uh, the saloon and finish my breakfast. All right, brother Fly. Is there anything that you would like to do? I know you're going in to perform your last rites. How long does that take? Around an hour. Ten he's minutes. Texted, he yeah. just texted me. He's having audio issues. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. We'll, we'll skip brother fly are you still there brother oh guess not <laughs> there he is um so we'll go to the next person so uh colonel angus and quartermain y'all both sitting on the porch i i, I assume after that y'all kind of go back in and finish your breakfast before it gets cold yep correct okay so y'all go back in and, and finish your breakfast um can y'all hear me yeah i can yep. hear you fine can you hear me I can hear you, Eric. You there? So, Mr. Quartermain, Mr. Angus, what, what, uh, what do y'all, what are y'all plans, plans for tonight? Or Quarter, for today? Well, Quartermain, he's gonna, like, Fifty dollars is of course tempting, but he does like to kind of relive his glory days and take out a good. Can you hear me now? A good posse. Oh yes, one hundred percent. So he's he's indifferent as long as he gets paid and as long as he has so, booze to use. Did, did Colonel Angus share that information with us about? Um. Taking the photographer. Oh, I, well, I told them. you. So you did tell everybody. Yeah, I t I told them. Okay. Um, that's. You certainly would have likely them. told me as we were sitting together having breakfast. Yeah, because when... I, I wanted you to come with me, and I was willing to split some of that money with you if you wanted to accompany me. Mm -hmm. And that and that was the night before in the saloon when that happened, correct? Right. Okay, so the guy that you uh, that you talked to that night is this fella here. And he, um, and that's uh, uh, his name was Mario, I think Mario Del Faro. Huh? Um, and he and he was uh, and he was asking, yeah, he was the one that was asking you. Um, yeah, I've got it down as Marty. Okay, that's better. Can you all hear me now? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Can yep. you hear us? <laughs> Maybe not. The text he told me he could hear like every twentieth word. Uh, what? I don't know how he knows there it's every twenty, but <laughs> he's hearing us on and off. I don't know what's up with him. Tell tell him just to turn the music off, and that may help mm -hmm. out. Um. So. Is it so? I have Marty. Is it Mario? It's Mario. Yeah, Mario, Mario. Del Faro. Okay. Um, when were y'all supposed to meet him? Was it today? Um, yeah, he said he said uh, tomorrow morning. 
Okay. Nine o'clock, he wanted to go. All right. So, after all the hubbub, yep, go ahead. Anyway, I just wanted to describe um, Colonel Angus. When he came down, he's that morning, he's not in the Confederate uniform any longer. Okay. He's got the same hat and the saber, but now he's also just like wearing a long um, Long. uh, duster coat, like a brown duster. duster. Okay. And then he's got um, some. uh, Blue canvas work pants that he got from a guy named Levi Strauss in San Francisco, <laughs> and uh, and you know white button up shirt. Gotcha. All right. So so as y'all are sitting there finishing y'all's breakfast, um, these two guys, one you know as Mario, come walking in, and another guy behind him. That you that you've never seen before, you haven't uh-huh. seen couple, the couple of days that you're in town, and they and um, Mario kind of kind of points at them and and looks and says, "Yep, that's them, boss." Um, so he they step up to the oops, they step up to the table, and uh, and he he says, uh, he says, I, "I assume that you are ready to go." earn y'all's money yeah i just want uh to clarify what service you're expecting in in all this which is basically uh an escort to and uh showing of the location is that correct yes sir i we just need to know well also we could use a little help digging up the bodies if you don't mind the colonel angus ain't gonna do that mm. Okay, well, I guess we can dig them up ourselves. Um, do y'all have horses? Yes, you do. And y'all don't have horses. Y'all have horses. <laughs> y'all <don't> have horses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all do. <laughs> no. Um, That's so you, y'all. so so you can you can buy horses. There he goes again. I okay. hate it. Do release them. You you can for five dollars a day you can lease a horse. How much can you buy one for? Twenty dollars. How much do we have? Yeah. You have you have two hundred. You should have okay. two hundred. Oh, we didn't have to uh, remove the money for we have to buy a horse, but that should well well money. yeah you do have to remove it for your guns so. Okay. Yeah, because after buying all the crap that I have here, I've got sixty-seven dollars oh, okay. left. So yeah, if you if you bought guns, if you have guns and stuff, you need to subtract that from from the uh, from the cost. And I've got a cost list. Um, but we'll they weren't we'll, much. Uh, well, the the guy the guy says that uh, we can uh, we can arrange for you some horses. And uh, okay. and if and if you uh if you lead us to promising stuff, then we may be able to work something out to purchase those horses for you. Okay. So, are y'all ready to go? Y'all got everything you need. Um, every and also everybody, I I don't know if y'all are keeping track with the ammo, but everybody needs to put twenty bullets of of each gun that they've got into into their and that's all you got is 20 you got one one pack of bullets all right. and then just well i'll tell you what you got one pack of bullets and deduct five bucks because we're gonna say when you got to town y'all re- replenish y'all supply deduct five dollars from everything that you got yep so one pack of bullets is like five bucks okay so Y'all are ready to go out on the town, correct? Well, before we do, just a couple of clarifications. Yes, sir. Number one, there might be more of those things out there when we get there. Uh-huh. Are you prepared to do battle if necessary? Uh, battle? What? Uh, like some of these afflicted soldiers might come up on you and want to gnaw on your face, and so you're going to have to shoot them. Uh, well, you're gonna have to shoot that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, sir. That's the reason we hired you. You have already dispatched several of these creatures, and hopefully there will be no more. But if they are, 
that's where you earn your fifty dollars. Well, that's fine as long as you understand what may or may not happen to your face. <laughs> Understood. But, but but understand this: if it does happen to my face, then there's no way to get the money out of the bank. And and then the the other gentleman that uh other gentleman walks up. Uh, and he uh, he introduces himself as uh, Lacey O'Malley, and he says, I, I'm the lead reporter at the Tombstone Epitaph, and I will be chronicling our journeys. Um, we can make y'all into some wild western heroes if everything goes corrected or as, as planned. Um, but... Well. Here, there's a couple of fellows called some black coats out there. Mm -hmm. Don't take kindly to people um, shedding light on uh, certain activities such as these. Well, so I'd rather not gain their attention. So, can we just put you down as an alias then? Yes, that'd be fine. Okay, we'll call you Gray Man. Gray Man, one eye. And no, I'd rather I'd <laughs> rather the papers just not pay any attention to me. Just so, forget all about me. Uh, so, uh, so the gray man and 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 what should we call you, sir? And he he looks at you, Quartermain. You can call me Quartermain. My name, oh, nickname. A, a nickname, a nickname. Oh, yeah, nickname. Oldie, oldie, oldie. All right, all right. We'll call we'll call you we'll call you oldie. Well, I tell you what, no, nah, I mean, get let's get something that's gonna be a little better than that. Let's call you old bastard. That uh, that well, that old bastard <laughs> sounds good old, to me. Old bastard, and we'll call this one this guy preacher man. Um, servant so he, of the Lord. That's what I am. Okay, you can hear us. Awesome, servant of the yeah, Lord. Yeah, sorry, I only had to like jump through like five times, but yeah, I finally yeah. got it. Cool. All right, so he says. Uh, he says. We'll, we'll go get you some horses from, from delivery and we'll meet you out front. So they walk off and y'all, he comes back with two horses or with four horses for everybody and y'all mount them up. Um, who has the riding skill? Oh, the riding <laughs> oh skill. let's see. <laughs> My cavalry officer, of course. I have oh yeah. You, yeah, you have, you have the riding skill. Okay. I also have it. Okay. It was probably uh, rustling up not. some sheep. You do not have a, I do not. the riding skill. No. And you do not. I okay. think of myself as a holy sack of potatoes. A holy sack of potatoes. <laughs> all right. So all y'all mount up the horses. Um, Quartermain, you you ride horses, but you're not very comfortable on one. Mm -hmm. And the preacher, he he um, he needs help getting on his. Um, he, he starts to climb up, and he ends up being on backwards, and he gets back off again, and He's like, and and uh, Binks, you kind of like show him how to do it, and give him the little thirty second crash course on on how to do it. And um, he uh, Binks, do you offer to lead his horse, or or do you let him drive it? Or, no, I want to I want to see what this man is made of. Okay, so y'all head back out of town. Um, I need everybody to give me a riding check. Colonel Langus will give him a, a couple of friendly tips. Okay, so with the tips that he gives you, um, if you, I, I will make you, I'll let you roll it a negative one instead of a negative two, just to see if you know. Is that gonna be agility? No, it's gonna be riding. So click your un, click your unskilled. No, you'd have to go, quarterman. You'd have to click unskilled since you. Oh unskilled. yeah, sorry. That was a good roll. I still, I still think unskilled would be like common knowledge, but what the hell is unskilled? Unskilled is un. Oh damn, Carlton. Okay. Yeah, not so great. <laughs> no, no, not not good at all. Um, so, oh, yeah. damn it, where'd my music go? Is that a reporter fellow's name? The one who's writing up the story? Lacey. Lacey. The Lacey. Is it under a, a, to a, a friend it? of mine by the name of Colonel Sanders? Colonel Sanders. <laughs> is there a way to do what? 
where's Unskilled listed at? It's uh, hold on one second. It it should be it should be um, oops, but right under so, skills. Yeah. Is unskilled. I have common knowledge, fighting, sharp, uh, sharp and cross, healing, native language, suit, I, notice, perform, persuasion, shooting, stealth. It, expand your character sheet. Hit the little lock button there. Uh huh. And it should say unskilled right there up under. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Thank you. I no think problem. I still fell off. <laughs> I don't know. I, I got to look at everybody's role. Everybody got a three. So with this, no, actually, I got a two because I'm negative one. I don't know, Colonel Angus. Colonel Angus is. It looks. Well, no, you got a wild die four. So, brother fly, you. Oh no, wait, that was notice. You got a wild die zero. How did you get a wild die zero? The thing is, if you don't have like a gentle horse, I've been. I've actually fallen off a horse before. Oh, me too. I've been kicked by a horse. Just, it's actually not that hard. Um, Especially if you've so never ridden before. One D four minus two. So you no, you got a three. Um so everybody has a hard time in the snow getting the horses back out there. And uh, Mr. O'Malley and and Mario have the same problem. Um Colonel Angus looks like a expert on his horse. He's he's, you know, making him trot and doing a little dance and stuff. And and you finally end up getting back to the uh, the ambush site where you were where you were attacked before. Um, let me erase all these. Let me erase all these. Things. How deep's the snow out there? Um, how deep is the snow? Let's say, let's say that the the snow is probably about a foot deep right now. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's. Oh. I got a sweater and a scarf on too. <laughs> a sweater and a scarf. Okay. All right. So yeah. I'm so it was it was snowing in town, right? Yeah, it was snowing everywhere. Okay. Matter of fact, it's been it's been snowing for for light snow, just little sprinkles for a couple of days now. I don't know why these horses are upside down, but um. Hopefully, that ground ain't too hard. Well, the snow will kind of. Our time digging. Colonel Angus, well, you have a brother. You keep asking me that. <laughs> you know what I, you know what I think his name is, don't you? What? what? Anal. That's my <laughs> name. That's my Not first name. Anal. You're Anal Angus. <laughs> yes. I don't know, Anal Angus. I thought you were full of shit. <laughs> All right. Five so years. um, Mario's there with his horse. Um, I, I did there. forget to buy a, um, and I meant to do it, uh, extra food and a uh, shovel. All right. And who else? Lacey O'Malley is there, and he is he is there with his horse. So y'all ride up on the site. Um, is everybody getting off their horse, or is anybody staying on their horse? I'm gonna stay on. Is there a stump I can get off? Go ahead. All right. So, what'd you say, bud? Is there a stump I can uh, slide myself off onto? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can. Okay. I mean, so Colonel Angus is staying on his horse. Anybody else staying on their horse? Uh, Lacey and the other guy immediately jump off of their horses and they tie them to the nearest tree over here. Can um, I, uh, or can Carlton, I guess, roll a notice to see if there's been any tracks or anything that might have stirred up the snow or been through here recently? Um, go ahead. Roll me a notice. Everybody roll me a notice. That's a pretty good idea. Okay. Carlton, Carlton sees it. Angus sees it. Anybody else? Sorry. Before I diss, man. <laughs> Brother Fly does not notice a thing. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Brother Fly, you notice it. Anybody else? Quartermain. Quartermain sees it, too. Um, where... The where the oh, shit, I guess I do notice. Yeah, where it happened on the road, you see a bunch of um animal tracks leading leading up through let me get my little pointer out. 
leading up through this area here. Um, looks like they came out of the woods over here somewhere and then made a turn and then went up through here. Um, you do know this is where you buried the stuff up. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check the bodies to make sure they're still buried. They well, buried them until it's six feet deep, so I don't think no animals would have been digging them up. No normal animals, maybe. Well, I don't know how how deep did y'all bury them? Because I don't. I I no, I buried them and I buried yeah. them six feet. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean that's why we sat there for so long because no one helped me, so I just did it on myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So so um so five extra hill marys for all y'all. So uh, <laughs> the the two the two guys have have shovels and the Mario starts to unload this contraption that was in a bag on the side of his horse and he starts setting up a little tripod and and he, he put in a can um everybody give me a common knowledge roll. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it. Have y'all seen cameras before? Ooh, yeah, they're pretty know. they're pretty extra well, common had in the, picture uh, taken before with General okay. Yeah. They're actually really common in the Civil War. Okay, so if you well, I, we'll say we'll say everybody's seen a camera, but he 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 gets a camera and he he pulls a little pouch out from the side, and he takes his glowing dust and starts putting it over the uh, over the the flash thing. Um, it's not it's not flash powder like normal. I, it um, anybody got science? Oh, I'm pretty sure Carlton does. All right, yes, I do. Science. <laughs> but I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is. Um, and he starts setting up his camera, and um, then y'all start digging. Oh, y'all. Uh, I don't know if you noticed these uh, tracks here, but it looked like animals have been through here pretty recently. So you all watch out if you hear a little something rustling about in the bushes. All right. So y'all start digging. How many people are digging, Tillman? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... I'm not really comfortable with this, so I'm not going to actually help undig, undig, unconsecrate the ground, but I'll be prepared okay. to reconsecrate it. Okay, so you stay in back. Who all is digging? Yeah, Carlton's going to dig, but he's also going to keep an eye on what the uh, photographer is doing because he's interested in that powder. All right, so... So, Quartermain... Are you digging? Mm. <clears throat> Quartermain will reluctantly help dig. All right. So the the reporter is sitting there writing stuff down as y'all are digging digging this hole. Um. And I'll be looking the, behind us. Okay. And the photographer is uh the photographer is setting up his equipment still, and he's getting ready for a shot. He's already got his head up under the uh up under the thing the curtain or whatever and um the horses start to paw the ground a little bit get get a little uneasy the the feeling um like they're getting spooked um to, uh i tell you what the two in the woods over there Finks and quarterman give me a notice roll and i'll i'll roll for the notice Um. Wow. Okay. Did uh, Quarterman give yeah. me a notice? Okay. Yeah. Just give me a sec. I was. That's I fine. got this new mouse and. That's fine. Everything is it's going. A trackball. <laughs> no, dude. I love trackball mouses. Apparently, it's a mouse that can like change the DPI. Ah. Uh. So like, okay, so if you... you click a certain button, you can change how fast the mouse moves. And I accidentally hit mm -hmm. it, and it was just like lightning speed across the screen. And I'm like, it's uncontrollable. So, as <coughs> as uh, y'all are digging, Quartermain says, "Hush, do you hear this?" And then out of the woods comes a snarling I wolf. Do. <gasps> yes, you heard it. <laughs> um. Move up, so you're still on his horse. Well, you he had Quartermain hasn't said anything to you. Well, well so. yeah, I wasn't doing that in response to that. I just want to let you know I was moving. Okay, oh, okay, that's okay. You still on the horse, though? Yeah, 
All right. Um. So I'm still watching the back area over here. So. All right. So here we go. Deal. One card. Oh no, we don't have anybody in the turn order yet. Let's get people in the turn order. Can everybody add themselves to the turn order? No, let's get oh. there. Um. Uh, left click, left click, left click, left click your uh, your token, okay. and it should say at the top "Add Turn." No, it don't. Maybe, maybe it's only no. on mine. Okay. Got my stats, target stats, but I don't see "Add Turn." Okay, I'll do it then. I'm gonna have to move. I'll I'll do it. I got my stats, target stats, wounds, cog, wounds, go. Okay. I got you. Um, I think we got everybody in the turn order now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're gonna put these guys in the turn order. They have. They have. Uh, I gotta people. re refresh. Go ahead. And. Black Joker, you have the choice of going now or going later, and all your and all of your uh, attacks do double damage. I thought that was for me, job. Oh, me? <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, interesting. Choice. Do I do I know something's coming? Nothing. No, you it? really don't. Uh, not until somebody says anything. So then I'll wait. Okay. Um, Quarterman. You do hear these wolves, and you you can make out the the lead wolf, but you, you your character doesn't know about the the other four that are back there. Mm -hmm. You hear snarling, and then you hear actually you hear them running around in the woods around you. Oh crap! But and which one was the one that I was noticing? You you know you saw this one. This one came out as kind of like the decoy to get your attention. Um, which one? The one right in front of you. There is not this one room. right in front of me. There's. I don't see that. Should? You There's don't see. Where is north of your position? There's nothing on my screen. <laughs> see them? Nothing. You... I can you see these guys. Huh. But, this... but I can't see this guy. Okay. Well, let me delete him and. How about now? Yes, I can. Okay. You can see that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for, for some reason, you couldn't see the one I wanted you to see and saw yep. all the ones I didn't want you to see. But mm -hmm. anyway, yep. So what is your what is your action? Uh, well, first off, I'm going to take a shot at that one. All right. So as one action, you drop the shovel and pull out your rifle. Yep. All right. Ow. <laughs> yeah, Ow. That, I mean, I, no, the wild dice is. Why? Okay, yeah. All right, the wild dice does hit. Yes, it does. Oh, wow, that's really lucky, but okay. Yep. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So as you, Dang. As, you, as you pull out your weapon, you fire, and it goes straight through this wolf, and it makes him cut a backflip onto the ground. And that one's automatically out of commission. Okay. Um. And, it's, and then uh, I I want to kind of go back with the. Uh, all right. Regroup in case there are others. All right. So, um, this guy says, "What the hell? I ain't never seen a wolf so big." And he he goes and immediately hides behind you and starts cowering. Um. The and. Colonel Langus, you hear the gunshot out of the woods, but you don't know, you don't see the assailants yet. Oh, where is, where are my wolves? Did they not roll? They did not roll. What in the hell? We're going to say the, the wolves go after, they'll go last. Um, Heard a gunshot? Yep. All right. Oh, you know why I got kicked? I got kicked out of the order because 
I deleted that wolf and, and added a new one. So they're going to go last. All right. Okay. Um, do I see everybody? Uh, you see... You won't see me. Give me a notice roll, and we'll see what you see. Okay. I, I'm going to... Yeah, you, you don't see anything. Um, Not from where you're at. Okay. Um, Because... What you what you're seeing? I mean, you may see a little a little glistening of white behind these trees here, but you're not sure what it is. The only right. one you would be able to see was this one, and and these these are blocking your your view of. Them. Okay, well, I'll take uh, I pull my pistol out with my right hand, mm -hmm. sheath my saber with my left, uh huh, and then um, bring up the horse a little bit, a few squares. Um, All right. Advance him up, yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay. All right. And, and I'll hold my action for when I see something come out. Okay. Gotcha. Um, call. If I can hold my action in this game, <laughs> you Sorry. you can hold your action. Once we get back to the top of the round, though, um, so we, it's going to be the photographers go, and then it'll be, um, the preachers go, and then we will we will start the the new round. And then okay. the wolf. Carlton, what you want to do? So how are the actions in here? Okay, so one action to pull your weapon out since you had a wolf. But as long... Okay. So what I was reading today is you have to spend an action to draw a bead. And when you draw a bead, that actually lets you aim with no penalties. If you don't, it's it's called quick drawing, and you fire as you draw, and you can do three shots. But the so more you, shots, you get three actions, I guess. Yes, you get three actions. Okay. One your, so so basically, one of your actions would be to draw or to drop the shovel and draw. And another action would be draw a bead, and the third action would be to shoot. And movement doesn't count as an action. That's a different. Uh I mean if. Not if that's cool. <laughs> well, I think if you if you if you move and shoot at the same time, then it does count as an action. So okay. I I think I think we are going to call that an action. Um, I didn't do it for for quarter main the first time, so I'll let you do it this time. But from now on, that's the way we'll do it. Or you could you could take a two a two penalty and shoot and move. That because you won't be drawing a bead, you'll be quick drawing, quick draw, shoot, and move. But not this time. You can do you can do all three or four this time. And I guess pace. And you can you Six. can see this one, and I will say you can see that one also. So I can see these the two. First, the front two, yeah. No, oh, these or these two. two. Yeah, those two. Okay. Um. Yeah. I guess. Uh. What is my range? Oh, you you got it. I mean, the range is like. Well, 12. It's just, yeah. It's like tw oh, that's twelve. That's twelve. Twelve squares. blocks. Okay. Yeah, twelve squares. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll change that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. I guess I'll do the same thing. Um. I draw, will fire, move. Draw, kind of get a bead on this one over here and fire, and that's just the shooting one. Why does that not have a damage button? Oh no, you have to use your uh your Oh, click on the gear. Okay. Yeah. No, click on um uh... disregard that. Okay, so a three. I missed, right? Yes, you do miss. And then you can move wherever you want to. Yep, I will also hightail it out of there. So as soon as you draw your weapon, you hear behind you, poof, and you see this big puff of smoke come up, and the guy took a picture of the uh, of the wolves. Not of me. <laughs> well, of, of you drawing on the wolves. And I'll, I'll run over here to where, uh, just on the other side of this horse. Okay. And as I'm running by the cameraman, I say, I'll say, uh, I told you not to get me. I told you to forget about me. <laughs> All right. Um, the Black Joker, you can go now, and then the Wolves will go. Uh, 
I'm guarding the horses. Okay. Because there's five horses, what, five, six horses. I'm going to guard them. Okay. And if any, I'll make sure they're all firmly tied down and that they're not spooked. Okay. Gotcha. And then I'm not getting kicked in the face by a horse. Gotcha. Um, we're going to say everybody tied the horses up over here. So if you want to move over there or if you can, you can stay where you are if you want to. Um, they are getting a little restless though. Um, they're tugging on yeah. the, on the ropes trying to get out because they hear. I'm going to move over here and just try to calm them down, saying encouraging right. things. Say a prayer. <laughs> Say encouraging, encouraging things. things. No, um, I, I lost a list of miracle prayers, so I need to like find that again. But um, okay, and I couldn't. I tried two shops today. I couldn't find them. Well, one shop would let me in. No mask. <laughs> okay. I couldn't find the book of the other one. That's fine. <laughs> um, if you can find it on on here, I think I've actually got a. I've got a uh, mad science. It's like the only store in in where I live that is making people wear masks. So I don't like. I was not prepared for that. Oh, yeah. Um, so try this. It's got a, this has got a list of some of them, but there are actually more than that. All right. So you are trying to calm the horses. Um, make me a spirit roll. Cause I don't think we have animal handling. So make me a spirit roll. Just to use your God, that would be your attribute roll. So roll your attribute. Oh yeah. So you, you, uh, you put your hands on the, on the head of the horse. You put your hands on the head of the horse and you you say a little prayer, and it it seems like the horses are soothed by your prayer, even though they I don't think they can understand you, but the Lord has granted you with the power to soothe these animals. Um, so as the coyotes go, this one will run to here. This one will run out of here. This one will run to. 20, 30, as far as he can go. And this one will run to 30, as far as he can go. And this one will run out of here. There, as far as he can go. All right. Uh, the two coyotes that are in front of Quartermain, they're going to make some, some bite attacks at you, Quartermain. No! Five? Does that hit your your toughness? No, not your toughness. Your your parry. Uh, my parry is a four, so yes, it does hit your. T okay, so so the dog grabs at you, and and now I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. A two beats your toughness, though. Uh, my toughness I not believe, is a six. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, my toughness is a five. Uh, yeah, well, you still win that one. So your parry is a four. Yep. So, so the two dogs bite at you, and and you you kick the first one off, and then the other one comes down, and you take the butt of your gun and like hit its head away from away from your ankle where it's trying to bite at you, and uh, we're gonna deal some more cards. And preacher man. It's your go. Again. I'm still going to guard the animals and make sure nothing's coming up around us. So you, yeah, you, you're I'm over here. I'm just making sure that like, our, our ride back is going to be here. When we... All right. Go ahead and give me a notice. I mean, you should see this guy. He come out the woods snarling at you. I, th I think you see him. You don't have to give me a notice. Yeah, you, you got it. All right, Binks. Okay. Um, Oh, you you got something else you want to do? Shoot him. Okay, go ahead. That does that not. Hit, does it? No, that does not hit. Um, Binks, it's your go. Or you can make another. You can make another shot at a negative four. I mean, a negative. Yeah, a negative four if you want to. I mean, that would. Yeah, you you miss <laughs> no. you miss twice, and don't forget to count your gun. See if you have to reload. Yeah, two shots. Well, okay. he shouldn't yeah. be um shouldn't be rolling shooting. He should be rolling his gear, right? His pistol. Yeah, actually, you should be oh. yeah rolling your pistol. So that's oh. what I was doing wrong. Yeah, yeah, redo it. 
Oh, okay. still, so. still fine. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, still yeah. suck. Yeah. You, how have you gotten a wild a one on your wild die every time? Three in a row. Bam, bam, bam. It, it, it is a blessing. <laughs> it is and a, a curse. Blessing. All if right. I'm rolling uh, average. I'm rolling high, guys. <laughs> That's not average. But anyway, Banks. That's what I mean. Yeah. Those are my okay. good days. Okay. Uh... Carlton is going to rummage around in his bag and pull out that uh, bomb that he had made earlier. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to run back up here next to the wolves and chuck it behind him. So I'm trying, or he's trying to get a, a, a 20 foot kind of range or a 15 foot kind of range in there i think it's 15 i can't remember what i typed in there um so how did we say that worked again um i put it under powers as a spell okay so i'm not sure how spells work in here but i'll go ahead and tap it okay so i'm i'm guessing they would have to make a roll to try to not get stunned um yeah, I have no idea. Well we're gonna we're gonna say it's a bigger roll. Okay. And the target will be minus will be hmm. You didn't get a raise on your roll. So, no. so I got a raise say, making it, but not just now. Yeah, so we're gonna say that it's a four on their spirit roll. But it only affects the area, correct? Um, yeah, that's how I, I wrote it up, just from okay. looking at the powers on the Deadlands thing. So one, we'll go from left to right. Misses. Two. Misses. Three. Misses. Four. So they are all blinded, and you say they are stunned too, correct? Uh, yeah, because it, uh, it was like a, a smoke or a tear gas kind of thing. But since I got a raise, it uh, stunned and blinded. I guess. Okay, so they're blind. Remember. Well, they're blinded because of the of the thing, but they should be. So they should be stunned. Yeah, I so think a stun went with it. So let me click on my stun button, and that means I can only make one action per round. Is that correct? Correct. Well, they got a no. They're not shaken, right? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. We'll figure it out. Oops. What the heck? No, come on. Okay. Well, and they have their parry reduced by two. They're subject to drop, which grants the attacker plus four to hit and plus four to damage that makes them resistant. To make resistant. They're also distracted to all trait roll, negative two to all trait rolls. Okay, so everybody gets a plus four when trying to melee them. Um, so the coyotes go. They are going to naturally move out of the thing. So I tried to take it out normally and it didn't work. And then, is there anything else? No, I guess that would be my whole action, right? Take it out and throw that thing. Oh yeah, if you want to, that would be two actions, and you moved up, so yeah, that would be three. Okay. So they start to go up to here, and they won't be able to move since they won't be able to do anything since they are already stunned. And but they're trying to. And then this one. This one is going to attack. Uh, the preacher man. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Okay, so that is three raises, which doesn't really matter. It just he just gets the bonus damage. Um. So I guess he's one of those points, right? <laughs> um. Well, you haven't you haven't really? taken damage yet. You haven't taken damage yeah. yet. 
So let me roll damage. But they get the D6 added to it. Oh, that's not good. So 15 damage. So what is your toughness? Uh, five. Okay. So that is that is one raise on your toughness. That means you will be shaken and take one wound unless you use a Benny. I will use a Benny. Okay. So take your Benny, put it out on the table, and I'll delete it. Oh, actually, you got to hit the soak button because there's a chance you that you don't <laughs> you don't use the Benny. Uh, the, okay, what button? There's a soak button on your uh, on your character sheet. So hit oh, that. Gotcha. Now that yeah, you soak. All you had to do was roll a four. Okay, um. So then I would use um. So just draw, just pull the Benny out on the on the thing, and I'll delete it. Is this and a... then it down. Uh, yeah, you got, you got it. And then delete. All right, um, Colonel Langus, you are surrounded, beset upon upon all sides by these white wolves. You make me knees. <laughs> Set on on all sides by the inequities of the selfish tyranny of evil men. So, Thank you, Brother Tarantino. <laughs> um, uh, can I use one action to cleave at one with a saber and another action to shoot at the, another one with a gun? That w- yeah, but the uh, both actions will come with a negative, a negative two or a negative four, but you got a positive four since they are stunned. So it'd be all great. You'll watch. Yeah. Okay. So. Let me do uh, the shoot the the one directly above my token. All right. That hits. All right, and then uh, saber on the one to the left of him. Yep. Yeah, that. No wait, his. His parry is four, so that misses. Um, I actually know that four hits. We'll, we'll, we'll call that hits. Um, so both of those hit. God, y'all are rolling some shitty dice. Um, so roll damage for, for both of them. First of for the top one, it's dead. So as as that one comes up to start to bite you, you just pull out your pistol and you aim it straight down at its head. Boom, and it falls. At its feet just kind of just kind of fly out from up under it. Nice. Um, and then you go with the saber, and that actually hits two. And you you run that one through the neck with your saber. And which one did you say you hit with your saber now? One to the left of the, that one. Okay, so you use your saber and just skewer that one, and just just directly kill him. Um, this guy this guy takes and runs back into the woods here, and he starts. Go ahead. I get, well, do I get a movement now? Yeah, you can move. All right. Can I move to the left and make the well, horse tra- trample? Actually, actually, you don't because you had to draw a bead on that one to shoot it. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So this guy runs into the into the woods here, and and he 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 like he starts to try to climb this tree. He he's like scrambling, try to get up the tree and try to climb. Um, this guy seeing the wolves behind him. He is actually going to. Ah, shit. I thought I'd already. Townsfolk. He is actually going to use whatever townsfolk use. He's going he's gonna to pull out his knife and stab at this, this guy, the wolf, and not hit anything. All right. Mr. Quarterman. Uh huh. All right. Well, the wolves have abandoned me. Oh, they getting away from that smoke that that uh Mr. Yeah. Banks created. All right. So let's see if I go here, then I'll have a good angle at that one without it being yep. prone to hit anything. 
So I'll be like, again, pull up my rifle. Die, you filthy beast! So you you loaded, you yep. drew a bead, and you fired, and that will hit. Yep. Burn hell. Ouch. And that. Nope. That is only five, and I believe that their toughness is five, so that does nothing. So you shoot it, and you see a tuft of fur just kind of fly off of its tail. You must have hit its its tail, and it yelps, and it looks at you and growls. Um, and that would be a new deal. Yeah. Oh, we have to shuffle because we don't have any cards. Now let's deal. One card to everybody in the turn order. Okay, looks like you be time to shoot again, Quarterman. Marvelous. So, reload. Fire again. Draw, draw a bead and fire. Five, that'll do it. Which will hit. Um, that, but that is no raise. But that'll that'll kill that guy. So, you uh you shoot, and it goes straight through it, and really does some damage there. Um, and the, and that one kind of rolls over and goes down. This guy is gonna try to climb the tree. But where's my town folk? We're gonna give him an athletics roll to try to climb that tree. Oh, he, he is in the tree. He's on the branch. So as soon as he, he climbs up the tree and he gets on the branch and he starts writing, he pulls out a little notepad. And, oh, this is going to be excellent for the journal. Um, Vince. Uh, Carlton's looking kind of upset with himself. Uh, <laughs> trying to plan it a little better how he's going to fix his concoction in the next uh, test run. Well, the concoction right. would work great as a as a buffer, like if enemies were coming towards you. And right. They only had, but if they his, have a chance to move out of it, they're going to move out of it. His gears are spinning in his head. You know how to how to make it like stick or sticky to gotcha. kind of stick around, and um, he kind of shakes himself out of it and sees what's going on over here. So he's gonna uh, point his. Pistol at this. Well, I guess uh, I'll you, scoot over you, a little bit. Yeah, you you you'll hit that guy. There you go. All right, now you now right you're in between danger. him and the horse. All right. <laughs> so I'm. This is going to be in, at a negative two because it's it's between. You know, he he's got partial cover with that horse. He's going for it. All right. So five, so no, it'll only be yep. a three. Yep, it does not hit. And that, that's uh should be all of your move. Yeah, you I move. think I so mean, the movement you, counts as one of the actions. Yeah, but you can okay. still move more more. You can still because you only moved one, so you can still move the rest of your movement. Yeah, he's gonna say ah and hustle on the other side of this guy so he can get a better shot next time if he gets a chance. Very good. So this coyote since it did that and he's not under under a spell anymore or whatever we're gonna call it so we're gonna it's gonna bite it's actually gonna bite at the horse um so that will hit does the horse respond well we're gonna see Six. That will shake in the horse. So the horse is shaking, so it can still move, but it can't attack and it can't do anything like that. But the wolf has the wolf has a hold on the horse's leg. This one here is gonna bite at the preacher man again. Uh is, what's your parry? My parry is five. No, oh, well you are good to go then. Uh, Mr. Angus? Uh, 
How dare you lay your filthy teeth into my my steed? And I just start loading the bolt peacemaker into him. All right. So you you would have to turn your horse around. So before, because you no, are I'm not active. doing that. No, I'm turning my waist around. My horse is still backwards. Okay. And I'm just I'm just swiveling inside my saddle. Okay. What? Well, give me a riding check. Okay. Because that that still is a you're good. That's that's Colonel like a pet. That's Colonel a pet. Colonel Angus is used to fighting on horseback. Yep. And then. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. And that you dispatch another filthy beast as it as it falls to the ground. Um this guy he 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 starts immediately loading some more of that powder in his camera and he takes the tripod up and he turns it around the other way and he's he's actually looking this way or yeah, he's looking towards the preacher. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. The preacher into horses now. Um Preacher man. Um, so that thing's obviously point blank, right? Yep. So is there a bonus for point blank shooting? Not unless it's a shotgun. I shoot. I suck at shooting. Um, <laughs> what well, you've got your throwing crosses? Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wind up chucking two of my crosses at him. All right. You take it two actions, right? Yeah. You know that, right. Um, you should click the button oh, for your cross. Sorry, sorry, you're right, you're right, you're right. There you go. So that is a raise. So second one. Roll damage. Oh, sorry, damage. Well, yeah, roll damage for the first one because you may kill him with the first one. You split up right. No, where the hell's the damage? Uh, you. It's up under the thing over here on the. It's like. It's over here on the the thing. Oh, it's just check. a roll oh, damage. Oh, yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, I got it. Seven. Seven. Um, no, you only got four. Um no, it's, well, Oh well, no, no, you got a raise. You got a raise. So you did yeah. so you got so yeah, that kills it. So you take you take your little cross out. Mm-hmm. You, you so you explain to me how you do it. I take my little cross out, I cram it at the top of his head, and the power of Christ compels you. Okay, and so so you just take it and you shove it down in the, in the top of his head, and with the power, you shove it down. Picture, when he gets that picture, it's me cram, jamming a cross into the top of his head. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Um, so, so as you jab it down, it gets, and as you're about halfway down, you hear, poof. And, uh, and I make sure not to move, because I know I have to stay still for a bit. Well, <laughs> for the exposure. Well, no, this, this is uh, this is actually a uh, uh, newfangled ghost rock camera, so it, it's it's quicker. It burns it quick. It burns it into the thing quicker. So as you yeah, do that, I don't know that. So I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, as you do I'm that, you, there. you hear the poof, and and the the thing falls to the ground, lifeless. Um, and you're out of initiative. All right, so go ahead and role play as you will. Um, what do y'all want to do? I'm ch- I'm just here trying to keep the horses calm. Okay. Um, this guy climbs down out of the tree and he says, "This will make an outstanding story for one of my little comic books for the kids to read. It's so exciting." Um, coyotes says, are exciting. Well, yeah, when they're dispatched. Okay, so these you see coyotes, but they're not regular size coyotes. These are massive coyotes. These these are like 150 pound coyotes. Oh, okay. They're they're big. They're abnormally big. Um, okay. and this is the middle of the day, and coyotes. You know, coyotes usually wouldn't. Well, roll me a common yeah, knowledge first. Time. Yeah, roll me a com- common knowledge. Or a healing roll if you if you have it. 
or Binks, you can roll me a science roll too. So if you maybe if you studied animals. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm sure I saw wolves out on a sheep farm, but yeah, exactly. Um, so you can you can use any role that you can think of to. Um, what? Colonel Angus, you know, after surveying the battlefields that, um, and if the bodies left on the battlefields, the coyotes usually wouldn't come out until night. Um, you you actually lift one of them's, you know, the the lip of one of them, and look yeah. at their fangs. And from the fangs, you can tell that they're they're there's some sort of rabid type of mutation happening. Um, okay. You don't you don't know why or what, but but that's what you get from it. Right. Um, we'll go look at him, Mister the Rider Man. See this here? Looks like they also suffer from some strange affliction, which causes them to mutate into something more than just a regular coyote. That, that's very interesting. This will this will uh, entice. I can I can see the title now. Gray man and the preacher versus rabid mutated wolves in Wyoming. Or we're gonna say Wyoming because it sounds better. I know we're in South Dakota, but. I'll take certain liberties with, with the, with the place. It, it's, it's only, it's only a comic book for the kids. But now let's get down to brass tacks, fellas. Let's get this hole dug. Can somebody help bandage the leg on my horse here? He took um, yes. Uh, did anybody else get damaged in this fight? I don't think mm -hmm. they did. No. Um, I'm going to go so, up to his horse and try to heal it with a miracle. You, Oh, you gonna use you gonna use a miracle to do it? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So you only get twenty points per day, and the heal miracle is worth is costs two uh two or three points. How I many? I'm not sure. Hopefully, uh, whatever affliction these coyotes have does not pass on through the saliva. Well, if it does, healing would would uh. That's kind of what I figured. If they're if it's if it's evil, then I want to heal it. Um. I found another. Master That's fine. Gear. I'll do the healing miracle. Okay. Now the tracks that these things made, does it look like the same tracks that we saw earlier? Yes. Yes, it is the same tracks. Okay. Carlton's going to collect some of the uh, wolf blood in a vial. All right. Carlton, you... Uh... This will point that out about the tracks. All right. So Carlton, you you bend down and you, um. So did you buy vials and stuff like that? Uh, I have no. I have a doctor's <laughs> bag. I don't know if that's okay. It, it's... So if you've got a doctor's bag, we'll assume that it's got some sort of syringes or or uh, little bottles for tinctures and stuff like that in okay. there. So we'll we'll say that you have an empty one to c collect uh, a vial of of this blood. Now, to study it, you would have to have a lab of some sort, and you would have to, you know. Okay. Would it. um, so with the zombie blood that I collected earlier, I made the um the smoke and stun bomb. Did I use up all of that zombie blood making that? Oh, I would say that I I would say you didn't use that to make it. I'll say you just oh okay you just you just made it from stuff that you found in town. Okay. But from now on, anytime you make something, we'll have to get a cost of what it's going to cost to make it. Okay. Gotcha. That'll work. Um. So, as y'all start to dig, uh, they start to set up the cameras again, and uh, you you uncover the two bodies. Um. And I think y'all throw a blanket over them. So you 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 pull the blanket over the top, and as soon as you do, you hear that poof, and he's taking another picture. And this guy said, "Now this stuff, this is going to." The epitaph. We've got to get the word out that something's happening in the wild west here. In the west here, there's too much going on, and too many people are not informed of this. Um. So he said, "He says I've got what I need. Let's cover them back up and hide it as good as possible, so those those agents don't come up and and try to erase all history of this." So. 
y'all get that done it so and this at this time it's around was the guy able to take the pictures that he wanted yeah yeah he got okay. all the pictures he wants um and he says as <laughs> soon as we get back in town sir we'll meet you at the bank and each one of y'all i think each i think we can for saving our hides i think i can i can uh talk the epitaph into giving me two hundred dollars so each of y'all will get a 50 just for for saving my hide because you know this is this is quite a story um we haven't had we haven't had a story like this since we've uh since we were in oh what is the town that you were from carlton bank uh where since since the sioux city incident so we'll see you back in town. Um, everybody, give me a ride. In. Oh wait, first of all, does anybody know healing? Uh, healing. Oh, you said you you said you cast. I a healed the on. horses. Oh, well, was anyone yeah. else hurt? Give me give me a give me a spirit roll. Actually, you don't have to heal the horses. It, the horse didn't take a wound. It it just got shaken. Oh, okay. So Did you don't have to get hurt. I don't think so. No. No. Okay, then. That, so from what I've what I've seen about this game is it, it's either you go through a fight without getting hurt or you go through a fight and if you get wounded the wound takes a long time to heal. Yeah, so, that's it's like I'm really five digging days. On these miracles. Yeah. Well, um, I'm digging on the miracles actually. So you uh y'all make your way back to town. Let me pull y'all back to town. And y'all go to the bank of Laramie, and out front is is the two guys. They're sitting there waiting on you. He uh he uh sitting there counting out two hundred dollars. Um, he hands he hands uh two fifty to uh fifty to each of you, and then he looks he looks at uh Colonel Langus. And he says, that was some fine horse work you've done. If you don't mind, may I use your likeness in some some of these uh some of these penny papers I'm writing? Um sure, that'd be fine. All right. Oh wait, it's a little work. bit so they can't tell it's me. Certainly, certainly. So y'all are pretty kind of worn out from that. Uh, what what are y'all what are y'all's plans as of now? I'm gonna well, find we've... that kid who is begging the other day and get him okay. a hot meal. All right, so what kind of role would that be? I wonder. What you got? What kind of roles you got? You tell me. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say I would just walk up to the sheriff and ask him. But before, okay, so that a spirit roll. I mean, is that a spirit? No, yeah, you just a looking for him. I don't know what no. you would. I'll go with uh, him to the sheriff. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll check on the sheriff and find out some information about that waif. All right. So Banks goes to the sheriff. Anybody else? Uh, and the preacher man goes to the sheriff. Anybody else going to the sheriff? Um. Yeah, I'll go. Quartermain will go to the sheriff. All right. Quartermain why makes it. To, why y'all going to the sheriff's office? Uh, talk about the the band. All right. So everybody add, add 50 bucks <clears throat> to your uh, to your uh, money and uh, How much was Angus. that gun before? Oh, I don't know. Um, the Colt Peacemaker? I have to look it up. Give me a second. Uh, rifle, shotgun, real war, gear list, weapons list. Uh, 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 Five more bullets. Well, the hell it doesn't say. Oh, there it is, right there. Um, looks like thirty bucks. Okay, and how much would a shovel be? A shovel. Uh, that's on another list. Let me find that list. Oh, uh, 
Gear list. Boots, chaps, candy, fish, pants, shoes. Why can I do that? Uh, what are you trying to do? I don't know why I have control over Brother Fly. Uh, oh, I only uh, his character oh. sheet. I don't have control over his token. Two yes, two bucks really for the weird. shovel. I've, I can see Brother Fly's character sheet, and I can move Quarterman around. <laughs> what the yeah, heck? I, I have to. I have to. Uh, I have to go and fix that. So Colonel Angus, he says, uh, if we sell a lot of these, um, these penny papers, you will be getting some restitution for us using your likeness, sir. Um, we will use the photo, but we'll kind of gray it out so as your features, your facial features, will not be seen. Well, when we were out there, Colonel Angus had the scarf around his mouth and nose, so okay, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, yeah. So, you get to the sheriff's office, and uh, you walk through the door, and the sheriff's actually kicked back on his desk, and there's one guy in one of the cells, and as you walk in, he says, ah, the newcomers, what can we do for you? The sheriff says sheriff this, or the guy in the cell says this? The the sheriff says it. The guy oh. in the cell's asleep. You, you assume that he's somewhat drunk. I see. I've got two questions for you, Sheriff. First one is, I met a young man the other day, young boy, yes. seemed awful hungry. Have you seen him around, and can you tell me his backstory? Well, uh, we have several young boys. Um, there is there is the young boy who works, who does a little work for the Undertaker, digging holes and and nailing coffin lids on. That would be old, old Jacob McFly. <laughs> Okay. As far as where he is, uh, you you would have to old talk to Jacob the Undertaker. Jacob McFly. Well, not old Jacob I, I, McFly, but just Jacob McFly. He's not old. Young. I Jacob have good McFly. feelings about his great 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 grandson. <laughs> um. Well, cause, uh, basically, because you know he's a Catholic brother, he's looking for the not in a creepy way. <laughs> <laughs> starving kids to give them food oh, only Lord, another, food he does not uh, want to give them anything else uh, another catholic preacher in here yep. looking <laughs> looking for young boys i just realized how this looks <laughs> no i i actually took off 30 bucks off my money so i want to okay. buy food for the, the the starving kids in town um so a couple weeks of rations for me okay so what you can do i would say talk to the mayor but uh, <laughs> but he's not here any, any longer he said, well, the, is the, he laying in the street eating by coyotes? <laughs> no, no, he's back at the Undertaker's. And uh, the, the the sheriff says, uh, well, really, we don't have hunger in this town since uh, Brother Wise and Brother uh, Strong have have come here. They uh, They have services every week with a picnic and... There is plenty left over that the 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 vagrants take home, and the miners some of so so we really really do not have a problem with hunger here. But if you want to use that money in a certain way, we could put it towards the building fund. I'll think uh, about that. Okay, we could we also need uh, need some deputies around here because. With everything going on, I haven't had the had the time to look into some leads on these other problems that we have around town. What what, what problems are you talking about? Well, um, we usually usually I can keep them out of there, but there's you there's a couple of opium heads that that use the old storage bin to shoot up and, uh, and to lay in until they recover. Um, it's not not that I don't want them to have a place to recover, but, you know, it's just that, you know, we, we really have an opium problem in this town. But we, we need to get, we need to get the, the, the people out of the storage bin, so... But I haven't had time to go over there. I was resting my feet a little bit before I did it. But if you could do it, she sure, sure would enjoy it. Or 
appreciate it, not enjoy it. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Is that is that saying you gonna do it? Not, no. Not, oh, okay. Well, no. I say if you do, I don't want them killed. I just you know need them run off. Just. Or if you could actually find the source of this I, I... opium, that would help out a lot too. Go ahead, preacher. You were saying. Oh, I, I have no interest in being your deputy, but I do have an interest in removing this evil from your town. Very well, then. I will smoke your sinners for you. If you, if you have, so, so you were going to get them out of the, the storehouse? Well, just anytime you pass them by the storehouse, just check it out. Make sure there's nobody in there. And if they are in there, kindly ask them to come to the jail. If they get a few bumps and bruises won't hurt them, but if they give you any trouble, you can you rough them up a little bit to get them here. But like I said, we we don't want them dead. Who's there, the one feeding these that, poor people this poison? Oh, wait. One at a time. What would you say? Oh, sorry. Carlton? No, Carlton. Just ask, who's the one that's feeding these people this poison? Well, we think it's the Chinaman. But he hasn't been seen in town here lately. So... That might be why we see these guys sick and laid up on the side of the streets every now and again. They haven't been able to get the fix. I'll keep my eye out. We'll it's that. always the Chinaman. <laughs> well, he, he, he's been going out of town. He makes these trips out of town off the, on the railroad. And every now and again, when he comes back, it seems to be when I just notice a correlation between him coming back and these 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 addicts to to get their fix. I don't know where he's getting it from, but I'm pretty sure he's the one that's getting it for him. Greatest den of villainy and evilness in the world, San Francisco. <laughs> How often do you see this guy? Well, when he goes, he's out for a couple of weeks. But when he comes back, he's he's here for a month or two. And how long has he been gone this time? And I would say he could probably probably do back in a couple right. of days or so. Yeah. He usually sets up shop in the Screaming Rock. He he sells other stuff. He he's a reputable businessman in the town. He 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 sells trinkets and and carvings of ivory and and stuff like that, but I just I just have a feeling he's running the opium. Sheriff, so, let me borrow that ten star for a while. The deputy job. Very well. He un opens a little desk drawer, grabs something out of it, and he comes up there and puts the star on you. Says, "I deputize you, Laramie deputy." And if you could help me in any of these other matters around town, it would be it'd be great too. All right. The deputy that can't shoot to save his life. <laughs> so and it's about it's about one or two o'clock now. What else we're gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at check out that building and look for the, the that kid. Uh, Colonel Angus, get a turn. Oh yeah, go ahead, Colonel Angus. I'm sorry. All right. I did not go to the sheriff's office. No, you didn't. Uh, no, I was uh, wondering where the post office might be in this town. Would it be the same building as the bank? No, it's uh, it's down at the railway. It's at the rail station. All right, is that in town? Yeah, it's uh, it's right there on the railroad tracks. Hold on, I'll, I'll pull you I through. Did. Pony Expresses. Yep, that's that's the okay. postal service. All right, so you know, while they were having that talk, I guess it would take them about that long to walk down there. Okay. And uh, while he's there, he's going to purchase some pen uh, and uh, ink and some paper. Okay, that'll be that'll be fifty cent for right. for the and paper and pen. Then he'll um, write out a letter to uh, 
the, the Army, mm -hmm. letting them know uh, where they can send his check. All right. Uh, which is going to be, I guess, this uh, this same office here. Yep. And uh, I'll let the office know that I'll be expecting mail here. And uh, the guy behind the counter says, very well, sir, we can get you a, a box set up. No problem. And that'll be an extra 50 cent per week for your box. Okay. So that's a dollar. Yep. Now, um, any of y'all happen to know uh, anybody uh, renting a a small apartment or a place to stay on a more like permanent basis, like renting it a month at a time. Um, you probably have to go to the land office about that. Uh, they they would have all the all the deeds around town, and uh, they they would they would be able to rent you something out. Have you all been able to get your mail in and out without any um? Couple. Yes, sir. The mail comes by rail. Um, okay. Very, uh, the outriders for these little small towns bring it here to be sent off. But all of it comes by rail. And it is it comes it come from the fort. It, well, so the thing about Laramie is they're building a fort on the outside of this town. Um, this town is basically the boom town for the people that that are building the fort. Right. Other people come here to, to to farm and sell their stuff too, but okay. but they're building the military, which I guess would be the union, is is building a fort on the outs, outskirts of town, and that's why there's so many people here. Okay. There are more more buildings than this, but I don't. Maybe I'll I'll upgrade the map later. Also, but anyway, um, go ahead. Sorry. I'll let the uh, in my in my note. I'll let the army know that the union's building a fort over here. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, they they need to know that kind of stuff. That's that's what yeah. you're here for. <laughs> um all right so any uh are you done i figured what i'm doing took about as much time as what they did so now yep. we can move on to the next turn yeah. yep um so i'm gonna be headed to the land office next okay well so so we'll say you go to the land office guy behind this counter he he uh he looks up as you walk in the door you walk in the little bell dings he looks up and he was asleep at the desk. And he asked you, uh, can I help you? Yeah. My name's Colonel Angus. I come into town the other day. Yep. I saw you. You was on that stage, coach. Right. Oh. And well, I think I might be staying here for a little while, maybe a month or more. Mm hmm And uh I could rent a small apartment or um, a small little house somewhere. Okay. Or the, you know, month to month kind of business. Is that something you know of? Uh, there is a small house at the bottom of t at the the south of town across the railroad tracks. It gets a little noisy when the train comes in. It's a it's a one room shack, but it's got a stove and a bed, and there's room to put, you know, more beds if need be. Because I've seen That'll you come. Nicely. I seen you come into town with other people. That'll do quite fine. Okay. Um. So you you're written for the month, I see. Yeah, I'll just go for a month for now, and then we'll see what happens after that. Okay. Um. I got to figure out how much that's going to be. That's that's um. Let's say fifty dollars a month. That's a lot. But is it really though? A hotel well, room in the old west, yeah. A month? Yeah, because like uh, my pay is only like twenty dollars every two weeks. You said no, twenty dollars every month. But that's because you, yeah, but that's yeah, but that's because you're retired. <laughs> is he retired? Yeah, off I, duty. Well, yeah, well, basically <laughs> off duty. Okay. Um, 
Well, let, let, let's see. Well, you're talking about an era where people are making like, you know, a dollar a day. Well, let's see. Health, communication service, clothes, housing, and land. Uh -uh. <laughs> Denver house rent is twenty-five to thirty-five dollars a month in Denver. So we'll we'll say thirty dollars a month. Okay, I'll take it. All right. I mean, you just made fifty dollars doing yeah. uh for a half a day's work. All right, so so thirty dollars, and you so this house down here is y'all's rental. Okay. Or your well, rental. it's his rental. Yeah. <laughs> it's his rental. He he paid for it. So okay. I guess if you want to guess, y'all could come over. Uh, um, so all right, so what's what's the next order of business, guys? Um. He, the uh, preacher, mm -hmm. got the uh, got the badge. Were you going yeah. over there immediately, Brother Fly? Yeah, I'm gonna start looking right away. Okay, right. while you go over there, Carlton's gonna head over to the Undertaker's office to see if he's he's in. All right. So, Brother Fly, we're going to say you are down there. We'll hold on for that second, because that's going to be an encounter. Um, Undertaker, you walk into the shop. Yeah, well, Quartermain hasn't done much. I don't know what he's oh, doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Quartermain, what, what you want to do? I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, Quartermain will ask the sheriff mm -hmm. some vague questions about the, the location <laughs> of the bandits. Kind of their general size, as the sheriff knows. Um, and then we already know the bounty. And whether like the bounty would be reduced or increased, well, certainly not increased, if the sheriff were to accompany us to take them down. Um, the sheriff says, I have my hands full here in town, keeping the peace between the villagers, the, the townspeople. Um, it's not fantasy said. Um... That's why I have to hire a posse to go looking for him. As far as the whereabouts, all I know is it's to the south. Um, that's the what. Well, I assume it's to the south because that's the way they rode off. They could be circling back. Uh, you know they've got to have provisions, so they may have some people coming into town buying stuff. So I, I would probably check the uh, the local shops and see if see if people have come in to buy more than what's needed to feed one person or something of that nature. I'm no detective. I'm just a sheriff. And actually, Quartermain, you, you, you are you are not smart. So I mean, you're smart, but you know. I'm not wise as to the current events. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so he'll tell you the best thing you could probably do is start with these shopkeepers and see who has come into town spending lots of money buying stuff that's odd or odd amount of stuff. Okay. All right. Undertaker, uh, Carlton, what you doing? Yeah. Um, I guess he'll uh, rap on the on the door okay. sill to see if he's okay. in. So, so this is a, like an open door. So you don't. Even, so as you walk in, you kind of what do you? You just take you. You ain't got a cane. You just just knock on the door as you walk in. You see, you see this guy um, down there putting nails, and he's he's an old old man, bald headed, white bald head, and he's trying his best to hit this nail on the in the coffin, but it just keeps missing. Um, and he looks up and he says, oh, what? What do you need, sir? Are you dead? 
I usually don't have people. I usually don't have people coming to the shop. I usually go and get my customers. I was just uh, coming by to see if I could ask you some questions. What kind of questions are you asking, youngster? Boy, I don't know if you know, but I just got into town. Yeah, you came in on the stagecoach. Everybody, a small town where it gets around. Shortly before and shortly after, I've seen some strange goings on. I was wondering what kind of uh, what kind of undertaking you've been doing. All been all been dead. That's anything, what you mean. Anything strange about them? And he says, oh, "Come here, son." Um, and you step into the shop just a little bit more. He said, "Honestly." Four days ago, um, we had a body come in. I put it in the casket and and waiting for the brothers to come and bury it. The uh, the perform the services over. Mm. Um, and as we came back the next day, because we left the coffin outside, it's cold enough to keep the bodies cool. As we come back the next day, the coffin lid had busted off. And the interior cavity, the abdominal cavity of the body that was in it was busted open. Like something crawled out. But uh, huh. the sheriff told me to keep it down. Um, he don't want those agents riding into town. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to see that. Well... Could I offer you my services? I'd, I'd like to help you out around here. You go with a shovel? Go with a shovel. I'm good with uh, some prep. I was a uh, mortician's assistant a few a few different times helping out. Okay. I can but, I can pay you two dollars a day um for four hours of work if if you you know how to hammer and and you go with a shovel. Anytime we get a dead body, I can, I can always I'll pay you two dollars to help me dig the hole. Well, you can keep your money if you if you let me crash here. I won't be in the way. Sure, I've got a. So he he says he's he he lives above it, and he said he's got a spare room, and uh, he says yeah, that'll be fine. Kindly. Yep. Um, no problem. By um. If I needed to get some supplies here, is there a uh, is there like a general store in town? Uh, what kind of supplies are you looking for? Um, I'm a man of science, and I'd like to uh, I'd like to do some investigating on uh, some things that I found, okay. including uh, if you have anything left of that body that blew up. Well, we've already buried that body. The sheriff put that thing in the ground as soon as he found out. But if you're looking for stuff, uh, touch general goods. Uh, you can order. He's got a he's got a Smith and Robards catalog in there, and you can order what you want off of it. And the train will bring it in probably about a week or two. He has some things there, but uh, scientific stuff that's not really what's going on in this town, if you know what I mean. You know anything about Ghost Rock? Oh yeah, the the assayer would know more about it, but uh, but yeah, I, I've I've seen my fair share of it come through the town. You know where I might get my hands on some? Uh, you go to the assayer's office. I think an ounce goes for about ten bucks. Okay, well I've got some business to tend to, and I'll uh I'll be back later tonight to uh hunker down and start out with you tomorrow. Make sure you have a, a fresh sleeping bag because I don't have anything. I've got an old dusty chair in the corner, but if you want to lay down with a pillow, I suggest you buy that at the general store. I know he's got some. Okay, thank you kindly. No problem. Um, Who wants to do something next? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> the, I mean, the only thing Carlton's going to do is go over to the place that he was talking about here okay and there's actually a smith and i've forgotten about that there's actually a smith and robards in the 
in the place, but like I said, they they have handguns and stuff like that. They don't have scientific stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Um. So, uh, anybody else who who wants to do something next? I think I think Colonel Langus is probably done with his stuff today. Correct. Oh. Well. I was also gonna get like you know some supplies for the okay. house, but um, yeah. Other than that, he was just gonna you know um maybe uh-huh. stop off at Linda's. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, uh, how much does a whore cost? I don't know. Mm, we'll have to look that up too. <laughs> well, they they got the power, so whatever. Huh? I got to be careful how I oh, do wait. this because my wife. <laughs> Your wife will kill you. Uh, it depends on how much perfume they need to apply to you. Well, it, if it smells like a fish, then it's a dish. No, not <laughs> not them. You. Oh. The cowboy got... coming off the range. Oh, I got you. Um, we're gonna say we're gonna say a dollar for a touch and two dollars for, you know, the other thing. Uh. All right. A dollar for a rub and two dollars for a tug. Tug, yeah. <laughs> um, so, go ahead. He'll, go for it. He'll spend the two dollars. All right. So, so when you go up there, they bathe you too, and they they, they do all the thing. Um, as you walk That's... into the thing, you see this rather rotund lady standing behind the desk here, and she, as you walk in, you know, there's a couple people sitting there talking to a couple of the working girls at the table um there's a there's a guy on the couch with the other working with another one of the working girls um and uh fat linda says uh well you're new in town what 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 is your name sir please to make your acquaintance name's colonel angus i'd have heard of you before no, I haven't, but you are a nice southern gentleman. We don't get those around here very often. What can we do for you today? Oh, you know, the usual company. Okay. Yo, you gonna, you gonna, you, you gonna have a bath with that? I sure hope Yes, so. I might as well. I had a, a little <laughs> bit of a journey today. Okay. So she says, well, we'll, and then, uh, as, as she rings a little bell, and like five or six of the girls come walking down. She says, "Just take your pick, and they'll run you. They'll run you a bath, and we'll see you in a couple of hours." Okay, so he'll just enjoy the rest of his evening. All right, um, preacher man, what we doing? Um, I'm gonna go check out the place where the uh, opium opium addicts hang out. Okay, so and keep an eye out for that little kid who was hiding. And check out the spot where the kid ran to last time. Okay, in case he's there. Okay, so you get to the little storage spot. Um, are you sneaking around? What what you what are you how you how you approaching the building? I'm actually gonna do a quick prayer. Okay. And do a I don't really know exactly what these miracles do because it just has the name, it doesn't have a description. Alright, what are, what are you doing? So the one I was gonna do is um um inspiration. I I don't know if that would inspire them to tell me the truth or either that or stun, which is the one that has a thunderclap and I yell repent. The two addicts. Uh, I'm not sure on. which one would be better. Well, first of all, unless we will I will uh look at these miracles. And that's not the one I wanted. I went online and looked, and I can't find anything more than... I found a thing earlier today. But I can't remember where I found it at. Uh, so let's, uh... Let's just, uh... Goodlands, Miracles, Divine Intervention. Uh, Blessed Living Deadlands Wiki. Okay, um, this is a look. Well, that just only got one. Why does it only have one? Oh, that didn't help me out. Okay, so 
first of all, before we even before we even do that, how do you how do you go about getting into the thing? Do you just do you just walk right in there the or no, I knock on the door. Okay, so this is there's no door here. It's it's like two steps leading up to the thing. Just Can leading you up to these guys' names. Oh no, no, he, he just knows they're 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 workers that work at the fort. They they come down to get their fix, and then they go and shoot up in the uh, or smoke in the uh, in the stores thing. Okay. So, um, I'll just knock on the door and ask if anyone's in there. So as you go and you knock on the post in between the door, mm-hmm. in between the two things, um, yeah, uh, roll me a notice check. So. Okay, so as, as and that's a race. So as you as you walk in, you see a couple of of tin spoons laying on the ground, um, and you see a lantern up there. Uh, but nobody's in here as as of right now that you can see. Um, but it looks like they frequent this place very often. Um, so you you, you haven't seen. You don't see anybody right now, basically. Okay. Um, I like to turn the lantern on and just sort of light up the area. Okay. That, see if, th- like, maybe they're hiding anywhere. No, no. They're, they're, this is a really small oh, the- room. It, it, it's, oh, it's, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So, I mean, you, it's, it's pretty obvious that nobody's in there, but it is obvious this is you, you're at the right place, but they're just, they're probably working or because it, it's around two in the afternoon right now. So, so you know. They probably smoke their shit at night. Okay. Um, then in that case, I'll um, I'll start looking for that kid and keep an eye out for those people. Uh, all right. So I'll go looking so, for the kid. All right. So give me give me another notice roll for looking for the kid. Yeah, you 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 spend you spend your day around the uh, around town, um, but you don't you haven't you haven't seen the kid since you gave him the food. Um, you know, maybe have better luck tomorrow. Okay. All right. So everybody, so our so we know where Carlton's staying tonight. Um, I guess Colonel Angus and you are going to stay in the hotel, correct? That's right. Colonel Langus is going to stay in his new house. Oh, that's right. Colonel Langus got a house. Oh, Quartermain and the preacher probably stay in, in the hotel, correct? Um, yeah. <clears throat> Quartermain will stay in the hotel, but Quartermain... He, so, of course, the preacher wanted to investigate the hovel where the opium drug addicts spend their evenings. But yep. Quartermain wants to discover if the Chinaman is responsible. Okay. Um, well, the Chinaman is not in town at the moment. So the only way to find out who they're getting their opium from is to investigate the, you know, people that are, that are obviously on the opium. So, uh, okay. Or well, you could, I mean, they, well, they're, I, Quartermain was going to ask around town and like, see what direction the Chinaman was usually coming in. And well, then, he, co- he come, he comes and goes on the train. Oh, he comes and goes on the train. Yeah, um, but he, they he uh he sets up shop in the Screaming Rock down there at the bottom, next to the storage area. Okay, the, that's the that's the seedier type bar in uh huh uh-huh. in in here. And there's the trains show up mainly during the day, or do some show up at night? Um, they the trains usually show up during the day. Um. I mean, barring some sort of you know hold up on the rails, mm-hmm. they they would they would mainly. I mean, they'll probably ride through the night sometimes, but m- mostly during the day. All right. So, investigate the hovel where the drug addicts operate out of during the evenings, and then when the train comes in, then stalk the Chinaman and. Okay. We'll see what happens from there. 
Okay, so no train shows up today. Um, as you you go to the hovel and you get the same results that uh, Brother Fly got, you see the 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 stuff there, but there is nobody there. Um, so like like you said, the Chinaman's frequents in and out of town. He he doesn't live here. He just comes. He rents him a room, and then he he rents a room above the Screaming Rock, and he sets up shop there and sells his trinkets and and whatnot. So, this is the next day. I, I, I'm assuming y'all are all sleeping, going to sleep yeah. now, retiring for the day. Okay, yeah. so yeah, was this uh, place closed? I guess it was toward the end of night. Which which place? The Essayer. Uh, oh, the Essayer's office. Um, oh, you want to go ahead and buy your ghost rock? Well, I have some that I oh. bought, right. and I was just where'd you get ghost rock? I don't know. It was it was available as a as a thing, right. and I figured I would need some. Okay, so you I mean, have. I, I can I I can take it off if if I'm not supposed to. Well, have no. It. It, did you buy it? I yeah. I used uh. It was like hundred bucks, something like that. So if you got a hundred bucks, you got ten ounces of Ghost Rock. Okay. Well, it's ten dollars an ounce. I don't think it had a. Uh... Well, that's what I'm gonna say. The going radius. Refined Ghost Rock. What did this cost? Uh, yeah, 150 bucks. I oh, say so you got 15 ounces. Okay. So. Um. Yeah, I was just gonna go in and talk to them about it. Well, what do you? I mean, what are you gonna talk to them about? You you are you trying to sell it? Are you gonna buy more or what? No, I don't. I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, so was... so Ghost Rock is is a porous yellowish glowing rock and it it burns like a hundred times hotter than coal um some people say that the reason it does is because the fires of hell burn through it and that when it burns it makes a wailing sound like like ghosts hmm. um but it it is broken down and made into all kinds of different stuff. They they've got ghost rock metal. I mean, they got ghost metal. They've got they've got and and you would know this being a scientist. Um, okay. they they powder it and make and make better ammo out of it. Um, they use it in the steam engines because it burns a hundred times longer and faster or than than coal does. So you can throw you can throw a chunk of ghost rock in a steam engine, probably about probably about three pounds of ghost rock in a steam engine and it'll travel from California to Carolinas hmm. just off of the heat. But it had, but they have to, they have to build, build uh, this ghost steel engine for it because if not, it would explode. A regular steam engine would explode. Okay. So it's, it's like a, uh, it's like a super accelerant. Like a, a combustible ore yes. kind of a thing. Yes, exactly. Okay. But it's very sought after. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I'll if I know all this stuff already, I'll just skip his office. Okay. And I'll have gone to um, the general goods store. All right. What What are you trying to... What are you looking for? Um, My list. Uh, some, some kind of science kit or lab kit that I can, uh, use to, um, okay. Well, you got me with and to study this blood that I got. Okay. Well, you got a microscope cost you $25. Okay. Is that it? Is there, is there like a, like a beaker and burner kind of kit or anything uh, like that? Let's see. There's a doctor's bag. Yeah. I've got that. That's a level. Some litmus paper costs you a dollar for five sleeves of litmus paper, so I would say you would need that. Okay. Let me let me keep looking. Books and writing materials, hunt, monster hunting gear. Um, we're gonna say beakers and vials. Uh but now this stuff has to be ordered. This is not stuff, right, something right. That, that you're gonna get right away. That's um, what I figured. So we'll we'll say we'll say okay we'll say there's a science kit that you can order that comes with the microscope beakers and vials a Bunsen burner um you know a hundred sheets of litmus paper and 
you know, just everything that you would need to do basic, basic low grade alchemy stuff. Okay. Um, and it will cost you sixty bucks. Okay, I will talk to the whoever the salesman in here is and get that okay. ordered. All right. So he he says, right, sir, I'll put the order in, and the next train comes through, we'll send the order out, and we should have it. Normally, it takes about a week. That work. I'm staying over. Um, with the Undertaker. Oh, while I'm here, do you guys have a uh, like a bed roll or some kind of sleeping bag and a pillow? Oh, uh, let's see how much those are. Um, it should not be too much. Uh, <laughs> he says I got a <laughs> monocle. Um, <laughs> a bag of marbles, a fountain pen, a writing case. Got every. We're gonna say a pillow is gonna cost you. Cost you a dollar, and a sleeping bag will cost you a dollar too. All right, and he has that here. Yes, and uh, he says, "Can I throw in a a, a a travel kit here? Um, a razor comb, cream, toothbrush, and well, not a toothbrush, a a hairbrush, and some mint leaves. It's a, it's like a shaving kit. It's called my deluxe model." How much are you trying to sell that to me for? Three bucks. No, yeah, so no. I'll just take the pillow and the. Okie dokie. No, I'll hand them what at six sixty two dollars, and I'll take the. the All right. It's a pleasure bag. doing business with you. See you in a week. If it comes in before, I'll sure to send somebody over to the, to the. Uh, the dead guy's office, the Undertaker's <laughs> office, and uh, the dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> the dead man and and we'll uh we'll go from there thank you kindly no problem okay guys you want to take a five minute break real quick i gotta go use the bathroom again um okay. just think about anything that y'all want to be doing um for the next for the next round and uh how late do y'all want to go tonight um uh the wife's already in bed so i'm good for whenever Okay, because I I just drank yeah, energy drink, so I'm I'm up I'm up for a while, so I can go for a while. All right, I'll be right back. Five minutes. Be thinking about what we're gonna be doing next, and then we'll roll into the next thing. Be right okay. back. A little bit better now, right? Yeah. Um. I guess those two will get the room to themselves over at the saloon. Yep. More um, room I, for drunkenness. Start, I'm going to go check out that place again. Who is it that was also looking for the two addicts? Oh, it was Quartermain. Uh, yep. So I'll grab Quartermain too if you want to go check out at night. Since they're okay. the addicts, they might hang out at night. And then I'm also going to look for that kid again too. All right. I'll ask around if they know where the homeless kids live. All right. Give me, give me one second. setting up uh... again i know i'm a catholic priest mm -hmm. i'm doing this for the whole charity thing nothing else no whatever just want to be clear on that <laughs> quarter main loads his rifle you better <laughs> oh yeah and i reload my gun i also bought more ammo all right I did need it because i can't take crap anyway did you uh did you take the money off Two dollars for two dollars for twenty twenty bullets. Oh no, I thought it was five dollars for twenty. Yeah, five. I'm sorry, five dollars yeah. for twenty. My bad. Yeah. And I also took a bunch of money off for extra food for me, two weeks of rations for me, and then uh, the rest right. of food for the kids. All right, I'm going. I'm going to let y'all keep y'all's own records as when you buy stuff like that, um, because you know that's when you start. I just you know I'm going to keep you. Just, just be honest. If you, I mean, it's it's a game. Don't <laughs> you know? If you buy something, take it off. One let, high powered <laughs> plasma rifle. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you buy so I can tell you if there's uh if there may be, you know, shortages or or this or that or the next. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, so I'm buying flaming hot funions right now. Flaming hot funions. Don't they start the funions? The hell happened? Did Kia message me to raid? I don't know what that said. So. <laughs> uh, what did he message you? What did he do that? All right. Um. So, okay. Let me get back to. Oh, this. were we planning on playing next Saturday? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. I just, what is? I have a concert in Austin, so I'm not gonna be available. Concert. So, so what we'll do tonight? Uh, we will we will try to leave off a place where you're back in the hotel. No, um, whatever you need to do. I mean, it's don't, you don't have to do any special for me. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well. well I, I just want to find a spot where I can leave you off. How's that Benny back on the board? Well, I deleted that. Um, yeah, I'm back, guys. Okay, welcome back. So y'all two are are y'all going back at night to the to the uh thing? I yeah. am. Yeah. Yeah. We're okay. gonna. All right. Check it out. Uh, undo. Nope. Layer. So as y'all walk up, you you hear you hear people in there. What do you want to do? Uh, what what can we perceive about? Like, can we hear what they're saying, or um, like we can assume what they're doing? But okay, well, give me a notice roll. Okay. How close are you get? Uh, I'll probably get. Let's see. You rolled twice, brother fly. Oh crap! I'm sorry. I... That's all right. I swear, I still um, rolled better than me. No, not his first roll. He did. No, um, that, that was notices from earlier. Oh, Isn't oh, that... is it? Yeah, because that, that's all I've been rolling is notice lately. Okay. Uh, is it time stamped? I thought it was from earlier. I don't. We'll, we'll say we'll say this. I know. Well, you can reroll. No, we'll, we'll, no, we'll just we'll take we'll take the nine. So as you as you uh um as you get um to uh did I tell you the Chinaman's name? Uh, nope. Okay, good because I hadn't made it up yet. <laughs> or if I did, no. I thought I forgot <laughs> it already. <laughs> so let me write it down. Um, so, I don't know if y'all can tell I'm doing this all, um, uh -huh. all straight, straight off the cuff. Um, so as you, as you walk up to the, uh, thing, you, you hear, says, you hear one, one guy in there say, man, I can't wait for Shane to get back in town. I'm, I'm, I'm about out. How about Sh you guys? Shane? Shane. Oh, yes. Shang. Yes, Chang. Like the Not Chang. Of... Like T S A N G. Okay. Sang. 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 Um. He says, We're about out. This is the last. If he doesn't get back in town, I'm probably going to die. So, from his notice rolls, would he be able to. Would he be able to? Well, again, I would ask him and be like, "Do you have experience with the inebriation of drugs?" There's a Do lot you... of Irish in Kansas. <laughs> um, they're drugs, so... not drug addicts. You moron. <laughs> There's no difference. They're all sinners in my eyes. Thanks. I feel <laughs> so good about myself. <laughs> 
So shut up the guy who just power shot two old fashions. Uh, <laughs> so, um, okay. No, I mean, well, I if, if they if really, they really sound a, if they sound inebriated, West Coast problem, so I wouldn't. Um. So you you can tell that they're slurring. They're kind of real slow when they're talking. Like this is my last hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah no, I, I'll wait till they're till they're good and high before no, I and the door. We would have like. <laughs> Yes, we would have known that the Chinaman was. Would we have you would heard? Assume. <laughs> you would well, we would we would assume, but I'm China. I'm assuming that we couldn't just walk around town, saying Chinaman. The Why sheriff not? probably would have. I okay, we could. I mean, you're there's talking no about PT at... things in the 1880s, so <laughs> yeah. But then, why wouldn't these guys refer to him as the Chinaman? Because well, uh, you you're right. If everybody's using the same colloquialism, then why are these guys using his name? Because well, they know. Actually, I, mean, it, I guess yeah, they, they knew him more personally. Them. Yeah, I mean they they do business with him. Okay. Like like people call me the cable guy, but you know if I've been to the house more than three times, they call me All by right. the name. <laughs> um. So. I'm just trying to determine whether Brandon would know how to try and impersonate an act. <laughs> oh, okay. Doing it. Be like, do you no, know how to make a Chinese accent? Of I'm definitely not. I do not. <laughs> Brandon's like, even if I, did, I, I don't would. think I can. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? My wife, my wife would kill me, so no. Yeah, and he's like, you know what? Screw it. And he okay. takes out his... is, is, is your wife Asian? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Chinese. It, it, I, I'm. It, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I didn't know that. You you should have said. It doesn't bother me. It wouldn't bother her. And it wouldn't bother. It doesn't bother me. Uh, okay. Cause I'm. In I'm context. just. Okay. Yeah. I'm just. It, it, uh, if you're looking for someone who's offend, easily offended, I'm not the person. Okay. Excellent. Good. I, thank you. Because I I'm, I this is I just a like, game. Yeah. And I'm, okay. So no, I live in not, Texas for a reason. That okay. is also true. Yes. Which is why when you said concert, I was like, I haven't seen one of those in many moons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I signed. Yep. This no, and then. Were open. I bought tickets. <clears throat> yeah, so Quartermain yeah, would so just say, why don't we screw just it. Go in. No, Quartermain's going to scare him. Guns. He's going to scare so, him. So Quartermain is like, hush, and tells the preacher to kind of hide behind the entrance here mm-hmm. so that we're out of sight. Okay. And then. Because, like, when... Okay, first I would try and, like... S- I would go along the side just so that I could see like see where they are in the building. Yeah. And then I'd probably back up to this position. I'd pull up my Peacemaker, which I don't really use in regular combat, and I'd fire into the building, like, right here. <laughs> just to really scare the crap out of them. Alright. So... Can I roll like an intimidation? Um and then along with along with shooting into the building and be like, We've got you surrounded. Come out, you druggies. Um, go ahead well, you don't have to make a shooting roll because I'm not shooting be... at anything except for the broad yeah. side of a barn. Okay. Um Go ahead and roll me yeah, roll me intimidation. Uh well tell what are you gonna you just gonna say come out come out? You're gonna say come out with your hands up? No, I'm going to say, we have you surrounded. Come out, you druggies. <laughs> no, come out, you addicts. Okay. All right, well, go ahead and give me a intimidation roll. And that will not do it. Dang it. So, as, <laughs> I know how you feel, bud. Um, so, as you, uh, as you yell that, as you shoot... <laughs> And you put a little, a, a nice size hole in the wall, and and um, they things just get deathly quiet in there. Yeah, what time of uh, what time of night is this? Th- this is this is around nine ten o'clock at night. <laughs> so I'm pretty Ooh, sure everybody in the friends. everybody everybody in the town heard this gunshot, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, this is, this is this is. This is a Wild West town. If you don't have it, it's probably not on there. This is a Wild West town, so they're they're used to somebody walking outside the saloon and popping a shot off, and they are just just because yeah. they're drunk. 
Oh, can I can I retcon it so that I have and like, then... a flask on me? <laughs> so that I can yeah, like yeah. play it off as being drunk? Yeah. I yeah. haven't drunken myself into a stupor yet, but I'm just like, hey, hey, I could pretend. Okay, so uh if, if so... they move or do anything, I'll give them about ten seconds. Uh -huh. Then I just yell at the top of my lungs, in the name of the law and the Lord, come out now. All right, give me an intimidation roll. Or persuasion. Either one will work. Uh, I think the preacher's a little bit better in persuasion. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um. So this guy over here, he's, 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 he's got his hand up against the wall. He's pissing on the side of the wall. He looks over at y'all. He's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Quartermain will, look, Quartermain will take a swig. And, and he said, you made me piss all over my leg. And he, he I don't think up. we made you do that. We <laughs> drink did that to you. And he, he zips up and walks back into the bar. <laughs> um, Quartermain will look over at the preacher. It didn't really make him look worse. <laughs> um. So, uh, give me another notice roll. Okay. Cool way to move so I can see what he rolled. Okay. So with the four, you see since you're looking, you see an. Oh, the eight. You really see it. You see an eye looking out that bullet hole that you put inside of the building there. Mm -hmm. I put okay. my finger in there. <laughs> okay, we'll okay. move over to... You did the, we'll you did the safer to... route. I was going to put the barrel of my gun in there and be like, <laughs> get out. <laughs> All right, so which one's doing what? I... Oh, I'll, I'll allow him to... I'm, I'm if, a... I'll allow him to use the finger. And then I'll kind of walk towards the entrance as he's All using right. the finger. So, so the hole is right here. And, uh, by the way, as I move the finger, as I put the finger in, I do it quickly, and then I move away from that spot so I don't get shot. Okay. Okay. So I, when you put the finger where the eye is, you hear somebody say, Ow! Oh, fuck! And, and, that uh, is the first of your punishments. <laughs> so you walk, towards, you walk towards the door. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do, Quartermain. Okay. Since it's dark, I'm going to give you... Uh, actually, we ain't fucking worried about it. That's too much. So as you walk, as you look in, you see you see two guys just laid down back there, just about passed out, and then you see this one guy holding his eye as you walk over to the to the front of the porch there. Hit. He's like, and the guy holding his eye, he's like, "Get up, get up! They're here! They're here! Look out!" And they had the other guys just kind of shake off the the drowsiness or whatever their stupor they're in, and they they start to stand up. Um, <laughs> running and kick him in the back of the knee. The guy who's standing. Okay. Well, you can't because you have to you have to move through the doorway. Oh. That's right. You went in first. Mm. Yeah. All right. We're gonna remove all turns, <clears throat> and oh, I was gonna say, roll me initiative, but you don't do that here. Mm -mm. I do that. Now, on your turn, you can try to intimidate or or do whatever you want to to make them comply with what you're trying to do. All right. So this guy, the the one that's holding his eye, he uh he he's got a he's got a like a a small in the fridge. He, he's got a small knife and he rushes Quartermain with it. Let me get my, get my character sheet out. Uh, we're both we're both aces, so. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an ace. So I'm gonna try to. Uh... Oh, hold on. The cultist goes first. Oh, I thought we were both. Oh, it's, he's not a cultist, a drug addict, but I've, I've got, he's, he's a reskin cultist. Eh, same difference. Yeah. Um. So, a five. Does that hit your parry? Yeah. Uh, it does. Mm -hmm. All right. 
So he, he rushes at you with a knife, and he just jumps with all the vigor and does not do anything. And just, he, he cuts, and it cuts it cuts the sleeve of your shirt, and a little piece of thing of blood starts to trickle down. Um, this one, he spends his whole turn waking up. This one spends his whole turn shaking shaking off the drugginess. And it's your turn, um, Preacher Man. Um, the guy who went, went after Quartermain, I'm going to hit him in the basically the in his well, nose with the butt on, pistol. You're on the other side of the ace? wall. Yeah, you, but oh, you're on the other side of the right, wall. You, Quartermain's blocking the door, right? Well, the, there's there's two. So basically, that's just a post. It, it's three walls and a post split in two stairways. I mean, it, it's about a foot, two foot wide post, but you can, if you wanted to, you could run here. Uh, you could try to run and then get in there. Yeah. I was messing with the map and now I'm off. Where, where is this in relation to the jail or the Pony Express office? Hold on, hold on. I get you. I get you there. Yeah. So, oh, cool. There we go. Okay. So if you um, want to run, if you want to run around, you can, and that would be your turn. If yeah, you hit that's the... what I'll do. All right. I'll run around. All right, so we'll just put you right here. You want to be inside the building, or you want to be waiting on the outside? Um, here or here? Here. Inside. Here. Inside. All right. So you run around the building on the inside, and that is your move, Mr. Quarterman, with a big old number three there. Big old number three. That's right. <clears throat> and there's no penalty if I. There wouldn't be. Is there a penalty when I try to shoot him with a rifle at point blank? I, I don't think so. But then again, we're not really trying to kill him. Yes, you're not trying to kill him. Okay. Matter of fact, you had you had specific instructions not to kill him. Okay. Could I shoot him but shoot to wound? So if you're shooting at a leg or something like that, it's a negative four. Okay. So yes, you can, but it would be a lot harder to do. Okay, well, I guess that's my only choice. So I'll you shoot. can punch him. You can use your fighting to punch him. Am I good at fighting? I don't. I'm, I'm yeah. not. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I'm not a brawler. You also use your rifle like a club. Hit him with the butt of your rifle that, in the face. That would, that would be still, a, that would that still, still be fighting. Be, that'd still be fighting. Yeah. So right, let's but... let's use a negative. Because I have a higher bonus if I try All to right. shoot him. So I'll try and shoot him like through the thigh. Trying to get it through and through. Alright, so that'll be at a negative four. Well, that'll hit. Ha! <laughs> so, go ahead and roll your damage. Actually, no, that would be a raise. So that would be 12 damage. So you, as as he runs at you with the knife, he, he stabs at you, and you quickly pull the rifle off and just put it on his kneecap and pull the trigger. And Good when boy. you do it, just, just blows his kneecap. Just blows his, his leg. I mean, you can see bone and shit shoot out behind you, and he, uh -huh. he falls down to one knee, and he, he holds his hand. Like, please, please, please. Stop. I give up. Um, it's your turn, Preacher. Is it his turn? Sorry. Yes. Um, or are we re -roll? Oh, because right? you did re-roll. Yeah, I did read it. I, I, I did it. I do it. If he, if you re-rolled, so then why am I why am I going... Why wouldn't I go first? Because I had nine. Didn't you go first? No, I just went with a three. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I, I forgot to. Oh, then you should have another action. Yeah, yep. So it's yeah. your go again. Okay, well, I guess I'll reload. All right. And then I'll use my action. Can I have some kind of bonus if I use my gun to, like, intimidate the other two? Be like, you want yeah, what happened uh, to his I, thigh to happen to you? Um, so here's what I need. Um, roll me an intimidation roll, and you will have a plus two because of the gory mess that you've left 
of this guy. Marvelous. Still terrible. Okay, so, well, four works. Okay, four does work. Yeah, so he raised both of them back there. They raised their hands. They're like, they're like, just, just please don't kill us. We just, we just trying to get a fix, man. All what right. do you want? You want, you want our money? You want our opium? Preacher, you take over from here. I want your opium, and I want the son of a bitch who sold it to you. Preacher, um, language. Come on. I'm a drunk um, who takes a swig, but come on. You know better. Uh, um, so, he tells you that, uh, it's, well, they, they reach into their pockets, and they pull out they pull out a $5 bill, or $5, and a, a cloth sack, and they throw it on, one of them throws it on the floor, and the other one reaches in his pocket, and he's got like two 50-cent pieces, and, and, a, and another one. I don't want sack. your money, boy. I want your drugs. And I want the one who sold it to you. I'll take their Who money. Who sold you the drugs? Okay, so We're you pick up. For prison. You you pay. I'll you take pick their up. money. I'm still taking them jail. No, 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 no don't, don't, don't. It's a trick. It's a trick. It's a trap. It's a trap. If, if you uh, die in if space, you, calamari. If you if you take the money, it's seven dollars and fifty cents. Um, and there's three bags of three bags of little little dots of opium left on the floor, and it just on a just like on a handkerchief that they had in their in their hand or in their pockets. Yeah. Well, I'm taking the money. And okay. Then... Well, this, drop your this guns, guy, drop your knives. This guy. So, so you get three peacemakers and three Bowie knives. Okay. If you if you want to if you want to stat that. Um, and then um, this guy here is bleeding out all over the floor. Uh, he he's just sitting there wincing in pain. He said he said you gotta help me. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Which, which one? Which which one's bleeding out? The... the the this one right here. Okay. You sit tight. I'll take care of you in a minute. Let's go, uh, you three. Yeah. Well, well he can't walk. Uh, he can't walk. Oh. Hold <laughs> he, on. He, he's, hey. he's missing a kneecap. <laughs> oh. Hey. Quartermain, watch these other two. Yep. Oh, well. I, I heal the knucklehead. All right. Go ahead and roll me a spirit roll. Oh, yeah. So, as you... As you cast your, as you bend down over I, him and say, say, a, go ahead, you, you, you describe it. Well, I bend over, I, I make sure the other two can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I talk about, and I start talking, I basically give a mini sermon on like the evils of sin and how Christ can heal you and save your soul. And then I heal him. Okay. So as you do that, it's, it's like the flesh just starts crawling back around his kneecap and the bone just starts to reform around what it is it's going to be a scar but but he is perfectly fine now all right so we'll go ahead and fast forward you, as you take these guys is there anything else you want to do with these guys before you uh before you get them to the uh, police the jail no i, don't I think started so. asking them i ask them how much they're paying for the drugs when they get the drugs where they're getting the drugs who they're, i basically run down all the list of questions okay so they as y'all walking back um one of them so y'all have them all did y'all tie them up or y'all just leading them back in gunpoint gunpoint okay they're probably gunpoint. too scared to do anything um as you as you leading them back one of them starts to say we will we buy it from saying but he hasn't been in town lately um we just scraped up what we had left and we, we was all meeting out there just so we could share um and when when the guy says saying saying the other guy kind of elbows and said be quiet man we'll be out of jail in a week damn but Sang your souls are dead and he says saying will kill you for t for putting his name on your lips um and then he he said well basically that's all the information you get because once that guy knows him they they kind of shut up So they're back at the bar. Yeah, I mean, back, at, back to jail. Yeah, they're back at the jail. I'm sorry. And y'all go back to y'all's respective rooms at the hotel, correct? Well, actually, I'll give the sheriff an update on what they yep. told us. Yeah. And all the evidence. Yep. So you give the opium to the sheriff? Yep. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So 
night night time comes you you hear drunks up and down the hallway uh, up and down the the uh main street out there at night um but you walk back in the saloon it's it's pretty packed there's three or four card games or well there's two card games going on and there's three or four extra people in there um actually one of the working girls from from fat Linda's is there having a drink after 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 work and uh you know normal saloon y'all head upstairs and and go go to sleep the next morning y'all wake up come down have y'all's breakfast um and the church you hear it's about eight o'clock and you hear the church bell ring Um, what is everybody going to do? We'll start with who wasn't playing while they got. We'll start with Carlton. What do you do this morning? Uh, so what is the? I'm looking at the calendar. What what is the date today? It 26th? is sixth. No, today is. Let me go back to my calendar. The day is the nineteenth. I mi- I misspoke when I said it in chat the other day. Today is nineteen. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so I've got I've actually got a uh, I- I'll drag y'all to that so y'all can see. I've actually got a calendar that I'm marking days off with. Okay. So it is the nineteenth. All right. Um. So it is a Sunday. I guess I'm with the uh, with the Undertaker guy. You gonna sp- you gonna spend Sunday working with the Undertaker? Well, is he up already? Oh yeah, he he he's an old man. He wakes up six o'clock in the morning. He's out there gathering lumber to to build the next casket. All right, I'll go down. Um, sorry, I I didn't catch your name last time. Oh. Henry. Henry. My name's Carlton. Nice to meet you, Carlton. I'll tell you my last name if you last more than a week in this town. <laughs> Henry, do you not uh do you not rest on the Sabbath? Uh, no rest here. They 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 are uh, they are using caskets just as quick as I can make them. It's a quite profitable business. Well, I'm not a religious man, so. I'll uh I'll help you out here. All right. So y'all two, um, are you spend about four hours making caskets? Uh, Colonel Langus. Oh, you're at home. So you can you can faintly hear the church bells, um, from your house. Alrighty. Oh, how did my map get? Oh, there you are. There it is. <laughs> you you can faintly hear the church bells, and that wakes you up around eight o'clock. Um. What are you planning on doing? Well, um, is, is it a Sunday? Yeah, it is a Sunday. The church bells are ringing. All right, well, Colonel Langus was brought up a good Christian boy, so he figured he ought to get up and go to church. Nothing else, just to see the other fine ladies in the church. All right. <laughs> so okay. he'll head over there. Head over there and check it out. So did you fix yourself a breakfast this morning? Did you yeah, buy? He, did you buy stuff to fix yourself breakfast? Yeah, I told you I was going to get okay. some goods, provisional okay. stuff. All right. Um. So he'll um he'll just make himself up some uh, meal and coffee. Okay. You know that's easy stuff to warm on his little stove in his house. Yep. And then then he'll head over there. All right. So you head. He heads over there. Um. I'm gonna put you in the church. Oh, where'd you go? Lost you. Oh, that's I'm drawing. He's gonna, he's gonna put his nice clothes on too. Uh are you wearing your, your not a not a uniform, no. Oh, okay. I was thinking so you wearing your Confederate grays or you no. So you are you putting on so exactly how many changes of clothes do you have? Um he's probably got his uniform and then regular uh, casual clothes and then something nice to wear. So like three changes. All right, so I'll let you sit anywhere you want to at the church. All right. So as you walk into the church, um, it's packed. You know, you wouldn't think a, a heathen, a heathen town like this, you wouldn't get many churchgoers. But 
you you see at least 12 people in in church right now um over to the side you see you well, you see two men standing up there right right now um this what you can only guess is brother wise he's an older gentleman okay. um he he's he's looks kind of frail but He's got he's got like a he's got bruises and bumps all or cuts all over his face. Um, he's he's uh he's sitting up there, thumbing through the Bible. It looks like he's getting ready to perform a service. Uh, and then you got this guy sitting over here. Um, that you can only guess is Brother Strong. He's a he's a menacing looking man. He's got he's got I mean he's. 250 pounds six foot two three he's he, and he's he's uh got a duster on with a with a large cross around his neck um mm -hmm. but what's funny about it is both of these gentlemen are wearing crosses around their neck but each cross the bottom of the cross is wrapped in like a red cloth um is anybody else attending church service no no Preacher man. Yeah, I'm going. Okay. Plus, <laughs> he didn't to be like uh... usual seven o'clock. Well, remember, I don't trust these guys. There's something shady about them, so I'm I'm checking them out. That would have been there early. Okay. So, as, so as the church service goes on, um, give me an occult role. Who, uh, either of y'all that are there? No, not common knowledge. A cult. I have a cult, so would that be unskilled? Yeah, it'd be unskilled. All right. Yep. All right. What about you, Preacher Man? I don't have a cult, so you said unskilled? No, you don't have a cult? Really? No, I didn't know that was something I needed, so I didn't grab it. <laughs> kind of regret taking a D6 in healing now. Since I have Carlton's to... got it, but he's not even there. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, how about faith? Do you have faith? Oh, uh, faith. I should certainly hope so. Yeah, I I hope so too. No, I I didn't even see that skill. <laughs> okay, so here's what I suggest. Here's what I suggest. I miracles and holy warrior. No, it should be a skill, not a uh. Let me let me let me pull your uh character sheet up. Oh, Brother Sly. Character sheet. Oh, let's unlock it. Notice performance, phase and shooting, stealth. Nope, you do not have it. You got healing and fighting. Nope, you don't have it. So there is, a, so I would suggest with whatever uh, bennies that you have, your three and your two, I would suggest at least buying faith. Gotcha. Because I, your yeah, faith I didn't even know that was a skill I needed. I'm already like a holy man and stuff. Yeah. So um so both of y'all rolled, right? And both of y'all got not good enough. So as the sermon goes on, um it gets to be about uh about two or three hours in. He uh they they kinda take turns preaching a sermon one guy will get up i mean brother wise will sit there and preach for a while and then he'll go sit over there in the corner and then brother strong will get up and preach about the same subject but at another angle um it, you you notice that i mean you've read the bible so i'm i'm gonna say you've read the bible so but you notice that some of these things that he's preaching is is kind of off and then comes the part in the sermon or in, in the church service where they start passing around the offering plate. Um, so they pat they they start they start passing it around. Um, it gets to you, Colonel Angus. What do you do? I just pass it over. And so you don't you don't put anything in it. No. Okay. So um, as as they are you trying to make it kind of look like you did or you just. No. Very, very obviously, just say, just hand it to the next person. Okay, I got you. Yeah. That's cool. 
Um, so it comes to you, brother, uh, brother Fly. What do you do? I think I say a prayer, prayer is Latin. Okay. Exercise the demons. All right. I mean, I'm guessing these guys won't know what I'm saying. Yes, but do you put any money in the offering plate? God no. No. Okay. They're Protestants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, so you, you you pass it over, and um, well, you're the Catholic school. Yeah, I got you. Um, so uh, you pass it over, and then they then the offering plate comes up, and he says, well, "Now, after a fine offering, it's time for us to to eat the meal with the Lord." And so he says, uh, can we get a can we get a donor up here for today's services and to help us with our with our food? And the, one of the guys in the front, he raises his hand. He says, I, I'd be obliged to preacher. And he uh, he gets up and he goes up front and he rolls. You see him start unbuttoning his shirt and he rolls his sleeve up and the uh, the preacher comes out with this knife. Um, and takes the knife and, and cuts down his arm, and he goes and takes takes the blood and drops it into this pool of water. Ooh, that is not what I wanted to do. He mutated into a bigger being. Hold on. Um, so he take he takes his arm and he drop he he squeezes, makes a fist over it, and it drops like it just just dropping blood into the water. And then he walks over to and uh. Brother Strong says, uh, "We appreciate your sacrifice," and he he says a little prayer and he rubs he rubs it and 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 uh, give me a notice roll, y'all too. Okay, Colonel Langus, you notice as when Brother Strang or not Brother Strang, Brother uh, Brother Strong. Uh, rubs the arm of the thing. You you can see where the cut just just goes away, and there's there's a there's a little red line. You don't notice it, brother Fly, because you sit way at the back. Um, but from your viewpoint, you can you can see when he rubbed his arm, all the blood and everything went away, and just a, a thin red line down his arm where he was cut. He was, he was magically healed. Um, and then and then um, they they. Brother Strong dips his hands down into the water, which is now a, a tint of, of of red. It looks, it looks, it has changed the water by by the amount of blood that went in there. You wouldn't think it had changed it like that, but as he does, he lifts out this basket, and the basket is it. As you can, as he lifts the basket out, it smells immaculate. Just it smells like fried chicken and and you know, all kinds of country food. And he opens the basket and, and the heat wafts out and he grabs a pitcher and dips it down into the water and he pours it. Um, and he said, and they start passing out food and passing out little goblets of, of this water. Um, does anybody drink and eat? I actually, um, I'm actually calling out a miracle. Okay, um, what miracle? Uh, uh, you, you gonna do that in the church with all these people here? Yes. Yes. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's the work of Satan. Uh, They're uh, using. Uh, uh, okay. 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 And I search it. And then I'll also do a performance. Try to sway the crowd. Convince them this is the work of Satan. Well, when you do the thunderclap, they're not going to be able to hear you. No, I'm going to start the screen. I was like, this is the work of Satan. This is evil. So, so, God wouldn't have you do this. And then I scream out for a second about the thunderclap. Okay, so... So have you have you looked at the? God, I wish I could find this. I, I only have the base of I'm trying to find more TV. I was actually trying to find a book today, but I couldn't find it. Trying to get it. Uh, uh, 
Let's see. If I can drive through RPG. It might be in the the rule book. So so you're doing repentance or thunderclap? Because you can only do one at a time. No, it's repentance is thunderclap. No stun oh. is is addition to the appropriately kind of thunderclap. And alternative power has a less loudly command the target to repent. My target's gonna be the whole earth. Well thunderclap is stun, so those so are two different I'm miracles. I'll make like a mini no, it's, it's all one thing. The sun, in addition to the appropriately kind of thunderclap, and alternate tapping of the split of power, has the blessed loudly command the target to repent. It's all like one paragraph. One letter. Uh, I don't see. Well, he sent it to you, like, when he clicks on it? It's a good sequence. It's, a, it's uh, oh, here, here. The blood touched the fried chicken? No, it came out of the pool. The chicken came out of the pool also. Yeah, it was in this it was in this basket that he oh shit, what did I do? It was in this basket. In addition. All right, well Conalangus, when he oh, sees okay, him do that, you. he's just gonna like loudly exasperate. What in tarnation? And uh Brother Strong will look at you and says Oh, it's the bounty of the Lord, son. For for when one giveth, it helps us all. Does he look like in his eyes like got crazy eye? Oh, you talking about Brother Strong? Yeah. Uh, not really. Looks like he really believes it. Oh yeah. Fight. What about everybody else? Is everybody else like this is just par for the course, no big deal? Or is anybody yeah. else shocked by this? Uh, no, the you from what you can tell that everybody that's that's in the church today has been coming for a while. Huh. Um. So I think with that stun, you have to say I think it's a faith roll, but I guess I'll let you roll spirit since you don't have faith. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I I must have missed that when I was setting up the character. Okay, so we're going to let you make a spirit roll. <laughs> Sorry, that was really funny. Oh, well, okay. So as you, yes, as or you, not, either way. As you go, <laughs> as you go up and do that, everybody just kind of turns around and looks at you. And, uh, well, the performance is good. I mean, I rolled well on the performance. Yeah, but but yeah. but but as far as the spirit, you did. So everybody kind of turns around and looks at you, and he's like, they're they're like, they kind of they kind of turn their head sideways. Why and, then, and, and then bro, I will tell you what, brother, brother, Super Bill. <laughs> bro, brother Wise is going to. To counter your your uh your argument with with some so a couple people say kind of say you know it is kind of odd but preacher I I've, I've seen miracles before and I believe this is a miracle. So really the service smite did. <laughs> so the service goes on. Um, this guy goes sits down and and they pass out food. So how many people are do y'all? I'm I'm assuming the uh, that you don't eat the food, correct? Um, um preacher man. No. Okay, and what about you, Colonel Angus? Wait. Colonel Angus is gonna stand up and start walking out. Okay, so all of y'all walk out, and he's and the brother Strong says, "Pleasure to meet you. I hope you can come back next time with a little bit more of an open mind." All right, so y'all walk out. As I leave, I as I leave, I'll pray for the souls of all these people here 
but your souls are too far gone. Okay. I walk out. All right. So you walk out. Um. About this time. Something about that ain't right. <laughs> hey, cool fried chicken. They're suckling at Satan's teeth. <laughs> I think they're sucking at suckling at his middle teeth, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, Colonel Langus knows a little bit about suckling. So, <laughs> but what disturbs me is just some fried chicken out of a bloody pool. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, so where where are y'all headed into town now? Um, and then the other guys, what are y'all doing? <laughs> do you uh, want to look for those uh, the bandits that shot up the town, or do you want to do something? Well, let, let's let's do Quartermain and and Banks right now. Well, so Quartermain, and I'm assuming there hasn't been. Be I'm assuming there will okay. be a train until tomorrow. Um, maybe, yes. Okay, so, uh, Quartermain would say, be like, well, let's use the rest of the day to hunt down the bandits, but All then right. as myself saying, let's save that until next session. Okay, so are y'all ready to call it for tonight, then? Boot? One yeah, here. I could. Okay. So, before we call it for tonight, um, what do we say the preacher man's going to be doing since you're not going to be here next week? You want to say that he... And looking up the occult. Okay, so so you finished off, so you have five uh, Benny chips. Um, yep. And everybody else has six. So, um, you can use now. Do you want do you want to use those for a cult, or you? Uh, excuse me, sorry. Damn, you want to use those for an occult, or so you want to use those for fate? So it costs three Benny chips. If I to, use all five for faith, what would I get for? Well, five? you you can't use would, all would five. You can only use three things? of them. You can only use three of them. Oh, that's right. And, three, and that would. Right. You, but you can use, um, okay. but you've got these other two in the hole because it costs three to move it to buy a skill right. and move it up, or to buy a skill. So, right. it, so you would buy so the I'll skill. Do, uh, I'll do faith. Okay. So you have two mini chips left over. Everybody else will have six. Yeah. Sound good. All right. So go ahead and spin yours yeah. and mark down what you got. Um. Okay. Before we wrap up tonight, uh, we'll start with we'll start with carlton uh likes and dislikes about the session anything that i can change to make it better mm. no i think i think we're all good i mean we kind of split apart here yeah yeah a little and, bit yeah i think um for carlton he he's not going to be able to uh obviously work for this guy four hours at a time or something if we're going to be doing adventuring. Yeah, well, I mean, you work for four hours a day, and then right, you know, you can, that four hours can be when you get home from your adventuring. I mean, but if you're going to be out in the, if you're going to be out in the world, then you're not going to need if you're going to be, you know, camping out, then you're not going to need the thing. Right, right, yeah, so that that works. Yeah, I think um, I think uh, for him, just getting into um the alchemy and then i guess the spell stuff at some point to try yeah. to start figuring that out all right well if you're going to do that just I, i'll try to scour the internet and you try to scour the internet and we'll put together what we find throughout the week and figure out you know how those things work um so is there anything you disliked about tonight's session other than the, the splitting up i know it was kind of kind of awkward but Everybody had their own agendas. I tried to rotate in and out. All right. No. Um. I think I think everything was good. All right. So, uh, Quartermain likes dislikes. Anything that can change?
I guess he's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, Colonel Angus. Well, um, I feel like I would like this to have at least two combat encounters per okay. session. So more combat. I got you. Cool. Okay. Um, and uh, otherwise, no other complaint. Okay. Cool. Like um, everything that's been going on. It's, you say you're doing it off the cuff, but it does sound like you know you have some form of pre planning. You know, it doesn't sound, it doesn't feel that way. It sounds like you got everything planned. So that's been working out really well. <laughs> well, I, so let, so I'll explain what I do during the week. I'll sit there, I'll sit there and I'll, I'll think, I'll be like at work and I'll be thinking about the game and I'll be like, oh, that'll be kind of cool. So I write that, I write it down, and then I come in and, and I grab a map, and I was like, okay, if I if they do this, I'll just use that map. Um, I, I what I do is get get plot points. I I, I give y'all hooks, and whichever one y'all chase, then I kind of just like throw that map out there, and this is what you're gonna do. This is what I'm gonna have you roll for this, that, the next. So it it's 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 all kind of free base. Because if you, if you if you put it too linear, then if if y'all do something else then you kind of like screw up the whole session so i kind of plan like 900 different directions for y'all to go <laughs> i feel like you do got to drop at least one juicy easter egg if we're all going to be on the same agenda though yeah well it's, i thought that y'all would kind of come to an accordance on what y'all were going to do i didn't expect y'all all to <laughs> to all go in different directions but i mean tonight it worked because everything was in town and and I've got a couple more things that's going to be coming up in the next session. Um, so, Mr. Fly. Yeah. Next session, like what Colonel Angus, I think, is kind of interested in uh -huh. is um, doing a bounty hunting contract on those guys who killed the mayor. Okay. That'll, that'll be it. So, I, I did give y'all a way to, to, um, to follow that. Go into okay. these, go into these general stores, and you know, asking about massive quantities of stuff being bought, or or somebody coming in and spending a whole lot of money. Um, actually, each day that passes, I'm rolling a dice to see if any of the the gang comes to town and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, Carlton. I'm just saying that's that's what I'm going to be pursuing next game. Though that's all. Okay, Carlton gotcha. doesn't know right. um, about. Brother Fly's kind of vengeance mission against the uh, the what's his name Sang. So I mean, in in his kind of mind, he wants to get with Sang to kind of discuss how he could start getting some of this illicit stuff, just so he could start working with his alchemy or whatever okay. to start making things with, and hopefully he gets to him before uh, Fly okay. does. Gotcha. All right. Um, so Brother Fly. Well, Brother Fly will be sequestered, so. Okay, so Brother Fly. for the next session. Reading the ne Bible. Next session, you will Bible. be you will be sequestered next session. Okay, so likes, dislikes. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are playing next weekend, I can't, so. I understand, yeah. I understand. I'll be, I'll so, so do you have any likes or dislikes about the game tonight, or? No, I think it's really good. It's okay. really good. All right, well, I'm I glad. like the setting, I like, I like, I like the rules so far. Yeah, okay. So if I can ask you to do one thing and I'll do the same thing too, I'm going to start scouring the internet for, I found a website today that had all of them on there, but I cannot find it. I've been searching the whole night while I'm working on this, um, but I can't find it, but just kind of look for, for bless I, for blessings. Um, I'm actually going to buy the book. Well, I don't I think there is a book, books. is there? Is there well, a book? There's a Deadlands book, and there's a, I thought there was a Savage World book. Like, well, yeah, there is a Savage World book. I, maybe next week, I, I'll, I'll I'll ask my wife if, if she can if we got enough money to uh, to buy the Savage World uh, compendium on here, and maybe we'll have it for next week. Um, I no, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, I'm doing the miracle, so like, it, it, I'm the one who needs that book. Well, I, no, are I'm, the miracles I'm, specific to Deadlands, or are they in Savage? Well, miracles too? are specific to Deadlands, but Savage Worlds has power, so I, I don't know. That that's another thing. But there, there, you can find it free on the internet. You don't, and just, and what I'll do if you find it, copy the link, and I'll just save it as my favorites in my Deadland okay. folder. And anytime we need it, we can just pull it up. 
cool. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, the, the, like, the thing you gave him with the list of miracles is great, but there's, like, only one of them has details. So I'm like, eh. Yeah, yeah. And I, I realized I don't know that what today. Smite when... means. Um, Smite is, you. I read it today because I found it today. Like I said, I found it. I just can't find it again. Um, Smite is you imbue a weapon with a plus two damage. Oh. And if you and if you get a raise as plus four, you get two raises as a plus six. Oh, nice! But you have to roll a okay. faith roll anytime you do that, and your faith roll has really, to be above a know. four. Yeah, you gotta take faith. Yeah, so so you're gonna need oh. faith because I've been letting you roll spirit roll. All my points are going for a while. Like yeah. George Michael said, you gotta have, have faith. faith. Um, so um, I if, thought he said he had to get blowjobs in the parks. Well, that, that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um so uh has anybody heard from Lyle? Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. I mean, I, I assume he's still running his game. I don't want to take the focus off of his game. So if he's st- if he's gonna run it next Saturday, then we'll let him run it next Saturday. We'll let him do that. Well, but I don't know if Thanksgiving weekend I might not be available either. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, but I'll let you know. All right. Um, so, well, I think it was a pretty good game. I enjoyed playing. I, I'm, I'm enjoying, really D- I'm enjoying DMing it. Um, and I hope y'all are enjoying it. So yep. if we're not going to play next week, then we'll do it the week after. Okay. All right, guys. Well, okay, y'all guys. have a, y'all have a wonderful day. Sounds good. Have, Sounds a good, good. have a good holiday, guys. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I will.